Good afternoon once again, everybody. I'm Steve Bassett along with Bob Rowe. It is cold in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's getting colder. We're already around 40 degrees. They're expecting the temperature to drop during the game to somewhere in the mid-20s. What kind of an effect is that going to have on these guys? Well, when we got here this morning a little bit earlier, I thought it'd be a beautiful day. It was like in the 50s. You know, you know, and it was, I thought, you know, this is going to be a super day for them. They're going to go out, super football weather, go out and play a whale of a ball game. But it's got colder than the Dickens. I mean, it's just it's just gone bananas. Some, it, could it change the, the passing strategy? Would we would we see a big ground game today? Well, there's a there's one heck of a breeze for one thing blowing through this stadium, and and I'm sure uh, with Bradley's passing game, it's going to have something to do with it. Uh, but the great thing about it is Missouri does have a good running running game with Gant and Wilder and Ellis and and Newman and the guys in the backfield. Uh, so you know, it just it's going to depend on I think how Coach Powers calls the game. Talking about upsets, and for the last two trips that uh, Missouri has made to this place, they have knocked off Nebraska. Now Nebraska is definitely going to get the bid to the Orange Bowl when it can come out. Uh, they will probably, if Penn State wins today, and if Nebraska can win today, they'll probably play for the national championship against Pig uh, Penn State. But if Missouri can knock off Nebraska, there's an excellent chance they're going to get a bid to the Peach Bowl. After having won twice up here before, what do you think the chances are of winning today? Well, I think, I think Nebraska's right for an upset. I really do. I think uh, they reached a psychological high last week against uh, Oklahoma when they beat Oklahoma. Uh, Missouri uh, had a great game last week against Kansas, uh, 48 to nothing. They want to close out the season uh, you know, uh, on a positive step to going into next year. And there's that chance, like you say, of, of a uh, uh, bowl bid. So I think there's a, there's a lot at stake for both teams. But I, I just have a, a gut feeling that Missouri is going to do it, and Nebraska is right for an upset. All right, I think it's going to be a super football game. Missouri against Nebraska, we're ready, cold or not. We're looking forward to a heavyweight college football game today, and we'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening kickoff right after this message. Ready to go with the kickoff for the final regular season game of the 1978 season. Bob, let's go through the starting lineups before we get started, and we will mention that Missouri won the toss. They elected to kick off, so expect that in a few moments. Offensively for Missouri, a quarterback, of course, all Big A quarterback now, Phil Bradley. Jim Wilder and Earl Kent will be the running backs, and across the front line, all Big A tight end, Kellen Winslow. Howard Richards at right uh, tackle. Stan Lechner, right guard. Pete Allard, all Big A center. Mark Jones at left guard. Dave Gunder at left tackle. Lamont Downer will be the wide receiver, and the flanker number 10, Leo Lewis. For Nebraska's defense, at right defensive end, George Andrews. At the right defensive tackle, Dan Fensink at the nose guard. Harry Winemaster. The right, <coughs> excuse me, the left defensive tackle, Rod Horn. And Darrell Nelson will be the left defensive end. At two linebacker positions, you have Bruce Dunning and Lee Coons. Cornerbacks for Nebraska, Andy Means, number 34, and Tim Fisher, number 16. The safety positions, Jim Pillen and Jeff Hansen. And offensively, for Nebraska, at center, Kelly Saulfield, Tom Soley, the quarterback. Andrew Frank Franklin is fullback. Rick Burns and I am hip. will rotate. It'll probably be Burns starting as the eye back. Lindquist and Cotton, the guards, Ort and Clark will be the, the tackles. Miller, the tight end. Brown, the flanker. And Tim Smith, the wide receiver. Across the front for Missouri, we got Wendell Ray and Kurt Peterson at end. Steve Hamilton and Ron Suda at tackles. Norm Goodman at the nose man, his nose guard. Two linebackers, Eric Berg and Chris Garlick. The cornerbacks, Johnny Poe and all big eight, Russ Calabrese. The two safeties will be Larry Lauderdale and Eric Wright for Missouri today. And we're about ready to kick off. And are we cold? Oh, it is chilly. 25 mile an hour wind blowing as Kenny Brown and Frank Lockett, number 22 and number 80, go back deep for Nebraska to receive the kickoff as Jeff Brockhouse. You know, it might be so windy. I don't know if that ball is going to stay on the tee today or not. Well, Missouri won the, won the coin toss, and they decided to kick off because of the wind factor in the game. And let me tell you, it is blowing, as you said, 25 miles an hour, and it's even, I think, more down on the field. Brown and Lockett deep, and here we go. And it's going to Lockett, number 80 at the one-yard line. Gets a block, and goes down at the 17, the 18-yard line. 17-yard return for Frank Lockett. So that's where the Cornhuskers put it in play. First down and 10. Jeffrey Gaylord making the play for Missouri. Jeff is good on special teams, isn't he? Overland Park, Kansas. He sure is. He's a hitter. Going to want to watch this Nebraska offense. They can put points on the board. They can rack up yardage. But remember, the last two times that Missouri has been in this stadium, 
They have won the football game. Tom Sorley at quarterback. Pitch it back to Burns, Rick Burns. Rick Burns got a block at the 40. 50. Burns. And Rick Burns on the first play scores a touchdown. Unbelievable run from scrimmage for number 35, Rick Burns from Wichita Falls, Texas. 82 yards off the left side and Nebraska right off the first play from scrimmage leads six to nothing. Well, now if they got that out of their system, we'll settle down and do some work. The you balloons are flying and watch this one again. Just gonna be a run outside, outside to right, their left offensive lineman. All the way down the field, you see Peterson take a shot at him, Johnny Poe take a shot at him. Hamilton having the last shot at him. Right here, if we'd had some people down here, we might have, depending on the officials with the rules. The point after kick is up by Billy Todd, and good. And so, with 14 minutes and 42 seconds left in the first quarter of this one, the Cornhuskers suddenly break out on top, seven to nothing. Well, that's one way to start a football game. I was going to tell you, they say that uh, Mizzou had six defensive linemen up on the line of scrimmage. They're playing the three defensive backs, and he still got outside. So it's uh, Missouri may have to make a little adjustment difference here. Now we're on offense, and give us a chance. Maybe we can score in eight seconds. Billy Todd will be the man kicking off. And Leo Lewis, number 10, is dropping back deep. along with Steve Sly, who wears number 28, both of those gentlemen standing at their six-yard line. Mr. Sly with that 9-4 speed. Break away, running a 100-yard dash in nine seconds. Maybe we'll be all right again. Maybe we can tie this game up real quick. You're looking at Bill Todd, Leo Lewis, Steve Sly deep. And we're underway again. The left-footed Todd booms it up. It's going to Stevie Sly at the five-yard line. Somebody. Sly at the 20, and that's it. So well, that's, well, go ahead, Bob. No, I was just going to say, Nebraska uh, surprised me. They, they've come to play today. I'll tell you one thing. About six people in on the tackle right there on special teams. If that's any indication, we're in for a long afternoon. Well, you talk about a psychological low. They sure didn't display at that time on that, uh, that one run. No. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to eat my words on that, having a psychological letdown. Maybe not. Leo Lewis and Lamont Downer come wide to the right side. Kellen Winslow lined up on the left. Earl Gant, Jim Wilder behind Bradley, and Gant's got the ball at the 21. And that's about it as he moves forward, stays on his feet across the 25 to the 27-yard line. A gain of six, so it'll be second down and four. That was a nice run. Well, I'll tell you, again, perfect example of the desire and the guts of the, the uh, running backs of Missouri, Gant and Wilder, all year long have shown us some great desire. They just they refuse to be brought down. And I'm impressed more and more as every year, as the game has gone by, each game has gone by, their ability to play this game. Ken Blair checks in. He is lined up wide to the right side. As the handoff inside to Jim Wilder spins and goes down at the 30-yard line, about a yard shy of the first down. Give him three on the play. Bruce Dunning stopped him. Big Bruce Dunning, six foot three, 215 pound junior. Linebacker, Nebraska. Oh, we got, we got what? Third down and what? Less than, less than one? Third down and we've got a double tight end situation in. Third down and a yard for Bill Bradley. They hand it off. Gary Ellis and Ellis has got the first down. <laughs> well, at least they're moving the football, and that's the one thing they've got to do, establish some movement on offense because Rick Burns burned them on the first play from scrimmage. Well, that's the one thing, Steve, that, that we have to do, Missouri has to do, is we didn't have the breakaway like they did, but if we can keep up this, this consistent ground game and just pound out the yards, we'll be right back in it in no, no time at all. Gary Ellis and Jim Wilder are together in the backfield now as Phil Bradley wants to put it up. He fires to his tight end complete at the 40-yard line, about five yards that time. That's Jimmy Wilder going out of the backfield, Steve. Nice catch from Bill Bradley. 
Right, we're back. Give you another little look at it. See Phil come back, you can see, see that Wilder just kind of floated out to the sidelines on the flat, about a, about a six yard pass, five yard pass. Second down and five. Ken Blair wide to the right side. There's a gift to Gant. Gant still on his feet. Run on Earl Gant at the 45 yard line. First down, Missouri. They need to stop. My, I tell you what, today too. They may not score in one play, but I tell you what, I don't think they're going to be kept out of the end zone. It's going to be a good game. Good run by Earl Gant. Watch it again. Watch him pick a hole. He sees it, puts his head down, and now he breaks through it. He's not to be brought down. Bradley back to live action. Fires out to Lewis incomplete. With the cold weather like it is today, Bob, and the wind blowing, what kind of an effect does that have on your hands? Oh, it's definitely cold. You know, you and I are sitting here with our hands wrapped up and everything, but the kitchen sink just to keep them warm, and we're up here. No, I mean, they're I mean, down. <laughs> we've, we've established that it's cold. Well, it, it, it <laughs> has an effect on them. Their hands get cold. Their, 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 you know, their concentration, they lose their concentration. Plus, the ball's going to do funny things to them. So, you know. Second down and 10 for Bradley. On the option to Wilder. Jim Wilder at the 40 and Jim Wilder at the 38 yard line. And that will be about two yards or three yards shy of a Missouri first down. Again, Jeff Hansen in on a stop. There were some nice blocks thrown that time by some of the Missouri blockers. We have seen the Tigers this, so far this game, run to the right side and pass to the left except for the one pass that was incompleted. They are using the right side running behind Leckward, uh, Lechner and Richards and Pete Allard. Third and three, double tight end situation again. Wilder and Ellis, it goes to Ellis. And Ellis has got the first down for the Tigers. Give him five. More than enough. More than enough. We got Coons, Coons and Andrews in on the stop. We're going to give you another look at it. This is the way the guys have been running all day, all year, really. Gary Ellis. Getting the handoff right here. Again, great blocking right there. Mark Jones pulling around Allard. Lechner, Richards, great blocking there. Giving Ellis a chance to pick up four yards in the first down. Ellis had 316 yards rushing coming into the game. He's got nine today. So 325 yards so far this season as Bradley on first down. Has Winslow to the right side. Movement on the Nebraska line. No contact, no flags. Ellis and Wilder give it to Gary Ellis. And Ellis is stopped with a gain of a yard. Again, in that play, Lechner pulled around Allard to, to uh, look like trap on the left defensive end or right defensive end in Nebraska, and it looked like Ellis ran outside him instead of inside him. It'll be second down and nine. A as we watch the Missouri offense on this drive, Bob, it does not seem that, that that run by Rick Burns has affected them psychologically at all. They came back, and they are pounding away at him. Well, they could have they gone out with their diver down. That's for darn sure, but they didn't, and they're pounding out some yardage. Gant is back in the lineup with Wilder. Bradley on the option, pitches back Wilder. He's got Gant in front for a block. Wilder at the 20. Jim Wilder at the 10. No, he stepped out of bounds. They're marking Jim Wilder's forward progress at the 18 and a half yard line. That will be, of course, a first down, but he stepped out of bounds there. Well, they got, they got him running down the sideline. You're going to see a beautiful block right there by Gant, but he did. As you can see, he just stepped out of bounds on the, about the 18 yard line. Earl Gant threw one whale of a block as long as with the, uh, again, you saw Lechner pull around and block, and that time Wilder did run outside. Nice play. Lamont Downer and Kent Blair come wide to the right side. Winslow is lined up on the left. Gant and Wilder behind Bradley. Phil to throw. Under some heat, gets away from it. Throws complete to Lamont Downer at the 10-yard line. And Bradley was very, very close to being across the line of scrimmage when he released the football, but he got nine yards, so it's second down and one. Jimmy Pillen in on a stop for Nebraska. That's again, is, is to me the, the guttiness of, of uh, Bradley. He could have run the ball right there, but he didn't. He saw his receiver open and got the first down. Well, actually, uh, we're just about a foot shy of a first down. Beautiful play by Phil Bradley. We're not, the thing that impresses me, Steve, is that he's not afraid to wind and the breeze and the cold. He's, he's not afraid to throw the ball. Downer and Lewis both go out to the left side on second down and a yard. Great place to put the ball into the end zone via the air. That's what Phil would like to do. Fires it. Oh, oh incomplete. Intended for his big tight end, Kellen Winslow. 
just outside of Kellen's grass. Just, it was really not a, a well-thrown ball. Kellen could have had it maybe, but it was not what you call a perfectly thrown ball, and it bounced off his fingertips. Now, there's an example of what the cold could do yeah. to, to a guy's hands because his fingers just might be cold enough that they didn't have that feeling now. And now on third down and one, you expect them to go ahead and try and run the ball for the first down. They've got Wilder and Ellis together in the backfield. I give it to my horse. Double tight ends with Anderson and Winslow. There's the run. There's the touchdown! Touchdown, Missouri! Jimmy Wilder, number 32. That is his eighth rushing touchdown of the season, and Missouri's right back in it. Let me tell you what, to Mark Jones and Dave Gunder and Pete Allard, that time opened a hole big enough to drive a semi through. We're going to give you a shot at it. Watch the line open up a hole here. What a hole. Oh, Gunder drove his man clear into the end zone. Nice play. Jim Wilder, 34 yards on four carries rushing today. 34 on four carries, and that was his eighth rushing touchdown of the season as Brock House to attempt the point after. Jeffrey holds it. The kick is good. 7-7, seven seven, Steve. Yes, sir. 9.45 left in the first quarter, and we are tied. They're right back in the game. Nebraska with Rick Burns has run one offensive play and they have scored the touchdown on that as Brockhouse kicks it away. Lockett and Brown are deep and again it's going to Lockett one yard deep in the end zone. Lockett at the 15 oh, hurls and goes down at the 17 yard line. What a hit by Norm Goodman. I, he played off two people came in here and took the man's legs off from under. What a play. Now we'll have to set this Nebraska offense for you once again. Watch this special teams play. By oh. Norm Goodwin. Are we going to see it again? Hope, hope we can pick out Norm Goodwin. He's going to be coming in here in a second. There, he, he just knocked down two. Well, that's the hit right there. Oh, oh, nice play. Then he lines up over the nose man. He Tom gets... Sorley is the quarterback. Andrew Franklin and Rick Burns in the backfield. Burns has got it again. Same play the other side, only yes. they're not going anywhere this time. They got a yard, so it's second down and nine. Larry Lauderdale came up to make the stop. Larry Lauderdale and Steve Hamilton. They say Steve Hamilton is one of the best defensive linemen they've had play here for quite some time, Steve. 6'3", 230 senior out of St. Louis Central High School. He is a good one. In fact, that entire front line, I think, is excellent. Look at some of the fans in the stands. And we are loaded today. 75,000, 99th consecutive sellout here at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln. Second down and nine for Nebraska. Sorley gives it to Franklin, the first man in the line. Give him two. So it'll be third down now. And about seven or six, maybe, to go. Chris Garlick making a play. Again, a little Chris Garlick, I thought, has played well enough this year to make all Big 8 also. But, you know, we don't get a chance to vote on it. He was all Big 8 last year. Well, they got Phil Bradley, Pete Allard, his center, Kellen Winslow, all first-team Big 8, Larry Lauderdale. Or check it, Russ Calabrese. Russ Calabrese. Russ Calabrese, first-team all Big 8. Leo Lewis got an honorable mention. Third down and six for the Cornhuskers. Sorley to throw it up. He fires, almost intercepted by number 17, Russ Calabrese, the man we were just talking about. Trying to hit big Junior Miller, their six foot four, 222 pound junior tight end, who as I understand is one heck of a fine ball player. 89, Junior Miller from Nebraska. Tim Smith is the man that will punt it away and Tim is averaging 39.8 yards per punt. For Nebraska, he's also the wide receiver. And they have 30, Bill Whitaker deep. Not a big rush, not a bad kick into the wind for Smith. Fair catch call by Whitaker. And he's got the ball, good field position for Missouri at the 48 yard line. And that's where they'll take over when we return right after this. Times are changing at Ben's Auto Parts. They've just moved to a new location where you'll find a larger selection of quality. We're back. I tell you, Steve, I'm very, very much impressed with the Missouri defense in that last drive. Shut them down. They did shut Nebraska down on first down. Phil Bradley wants to throw. Under pressure, he hits Kellen Winslow. It's incomplete. Winslow had it. Winslow was hit, and he dropped the football. Awful close, awful close. Pillen and Hanson in on the stop. I thought possibly Hanson might, well, could have been called for being there just a tad too soon. That was a tough play to try and complete a short pass with immediate double coverage on Kellen Winslow. They're not going to let the guy have a clean shot at catching the ball all day long. Well, they double cover him. That's going to make somebody else open. Second down and 10. As they give it to Gant. And Slippery Earl Gant continues to break tackles and gets to the 45-yard line, a gain of seven. So we have got third down and three yards coming. 
Lee Coons playing, making a stop. I want you to watch Jimmy Wilder come up and hit the linebacker. I believe it's a linebacker filling a hole. Watch him. He's going to come up right between Lechner. Right there. Nice hit. Very nice hit on Bruce Dunning by Jimmy Wilder. Open that a play up for Earl Gann. On third and two, Tom Anderson checks into the game. He and Winslow double tight ends. Ellis and Bradley. Uh, check it. Ellis and Wilder, the two fullbacks in the backfield behind Bradley. Two big studs. And uh -oh. Bill Bradley. They got by Stan Lechner that time and Howard Richards, and he loses three yards. So it's fourth down. Rodhorn got him. It's time to punt it away. Rodhorn making a nice play, breaking through. Really didn't give uh, Bill Bradley a chance to toss the ball off to Wilder. If he had him right here, you can see Wilder was wide open. If he'd got it out there just a little bit sooner, it would have been a beautiful play. We'd have gone a long ways. Nice play by Horn. Jeff Brockhouse will kick it away. Ligo. I guess they pronounce it legal. Bad kick by Brockhouse. He shanked it off the right side of his foot. The yardage on that is going to be about probably 10. Give him eight yards total offense for that punt that time. We'll be back right after this. Minutes and three seconds left. Two good defensive stands. The first one by Missouri, the second one by Nebraska. So now the Cornhuskers have it at the 40-yard line. Rick Burns, 35, and Burns gets five. Second and five coming. Chris Garlic broke through there and took on the took on number 39 or Andrea Franklin, Audra Franklin, but he didn't get a lot of help. Rick Burns has 89 yards rushing in this game on three carries, but remember the first one was for 82. Second and five. They sent Kenny Brown wide to the right side. Junior Miller lined up on the right. They pitch it back to Burns, and Burns is hit. And hit hard, a gain of two. It's third down and three. Larry Lauderdale, nice play by Lauderdale. The thing that's impressing me now is, all right, they scored that one touchdown. They got outside, and they did do a fine job of blocking and everything else. But right now, Missouri's gang tackling. We're hitting, Larry Lauderdale was the first to hit him, but there were about three or four other people in on the tackle. This is what we're going to have to have is gang tackling with an explosive ball club like Nebraska. Third down and two. They line up in a tight eye formation. Sorley keeps, pitches back. Lockett has the football, and Frank Lockett has got the first down, and Lockett was lucky to hold on to that one. I thought for a minute there was going to be a fumble, but Eric Wright finally forced him out of bounds, and Steve Hamilton is over there also. You're going to watch it. It's really a bad toss-out, but it was a great recovery by Lockett. Check it. Kenny Brown, Kenny 22. Brown. Kenny Brown, I'm sorry. Came 20. around on a... A kind of a reverse play. So it's first down for Nebraska. Tim Smith, the punter, and also the wide receiver, is the only man out. Lined up on the left side. Rick Burns again. And Burns gets four yards. Second down and six. And Nebraska moving the ball very well now. They're starting to move a little bit. They're getting a little momentum. Eric Berg making the play for Missouri on that one. But I, we can shut them down. They only got three yards. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to gang tackle. We can't be tackling the legs and the uh, ankles. We're going to have to be sticking our heads in the numbers because they're picking up three and four yards when they're falling forward. Lockett comes wide to the left side. He wears number 80. In case Sorley would like to pass, he goes to Franklin. The fullback breaks the tackle, and it's down to the 33. Another first down for Nebraska. Garlic finally bringing him down. You can see right there were a couple broken tackles just just good individual effort by the running back for Nebraska. We can't have those missed tackles. Uh, you, you gotta, you gotta wrap them arms around. If you have to, lock the fingers. It's gonna hurt. The Cornhuskers moving the ball very well on the ground now. Ken Mangarda checks into the ball game for Ron Suda. Rick Burns almost has 100 yards rushing already today, and he's got the ball again, and he's taken down from behind. Excellent play by 98 Norm Goodman coming in from behind. That's good hustle by Goodman. He had, he had to come all the way over from his nose guard position. We're going to give you a chance to give you another chance to check him out. Watch him go down to right there. That's a great speed, great lateral movement. Burns still Norm got Goodman. still got five yards, Bob. Yeah, well, it's still a darn good hustle. He's got 99 for the day now. Second down and five for the big red. They give it to Franklin, the fullback. That's the kind of tackling we got to have, right yes, there. Sir. Two and yards, and Goodman got him. Goodman and, and uh, Wendell Ray and Bungarda and Garlic and Berg all in on the tackle. 
That's the kind of tackling we've got to have. We've got to shut them down at the lineman scrimmage and not give them those two or three yard gains every time they touch the ball. And now Jim Katerra comes in at fullback. He wears number 44 on his jersey on third down and two. That's where we got to toughen up and suck it up. Smith way out to the left side. I doubt if he'll see the football, however. No, he doesn't. They give it to Burns, and Rick Burns has got the first down at the 20. Good drive. Good drive by Burns. You have to give their, you have to give their offensive line some good credit. Big Kevin Clark, you're running right behind Kevin Clark and Barney Cotton. Kevin Clark's only 6'4", 275 pounds. That's a small lad. Rick Burns came into the game with 678 yards rushing and, and eight touchdowns, and he's now got 105 today. He might catch up with I.M. Hip, who we haven't seen yet today. Burns has it again at the 15. Bumble! Good! Darn it. Nebraska's got it. And I would like to see that play again, and I would like for you to comment on the way they went after that fumble. They, they didn't go to cover the ball. Somebody was trying to dive on it. Very, very sly. All right, you see the hit right there. Doc got it. When the ball's like that, you got to recover it. You don't get those chances too often. 27 was Larry Lauderdale who kicked it out of bounds, and they end up getting 10 yards on the play. The ball is just outside the 10-yard line, so there is the possibility that they can get a first down. I am hip. Number 32 is in the football game at the eye back position. Hip goes in motion to the right side. They give it to the first man through Franklin inside the five and finally taken down about the three yard line. Chris Garlic making this play. Chris Garlic and Wendell Ray. Hey, we got to we got to we got to tighten up. We got to tighten our belt strap, our boot straps, and a few other straps. And I tell you what, we got to get ready to play because <laughs> they're getting too much yardage too fast on the ground. They are moving the football on the ground, which is their strength offensively. They can pass, and Sorley's a good passer, completing over 50 percent. But their power is on the ground. Sorley gives it off again to Hip. I am Hip is stuck with a one-yard gain, so it'll be third down and three now. And again, if they move the ball about three inches from the goal line, they can get a first down. Benny Smith, Benny Smith could have had a tackle in the backfield again. But you're looking at some great running backs and they're not brought down very easily. You gotta have one or two, three guys help you. What do we got, third down? Third down and three. I am hip in the game, Andrew Franklin in the game. Those are your running backs. Ken Brown is in tight on slot left side. And Smith is wide to the left. Again, I doubt if he'll get the football. Sorley passes. Touchdown. That one was to his big tight end, Junior Miller, number 89. And Nebraska now moves out to a 13 to 7 lead. You're going to see Junior Miller. He's at the top of your screen. He just kind of fades out to the side. No one covers him. He's wide open. Catches the ball for a touchdown. Six points. I was told before the game that Junior Miller just for some information, Junior Miller missed out on being all big eight behind Kellen Winslow by just one vote. So one. you're seeing probably two of the biggest, two of the best and biggest tight ends in the big eight playing today. That's right. That was Miller's fourth touchdown catch of the 1978 season. And now they've got Bill Todd, 14 in to try the PAT. He's 38 out of 40 this year, so actually he's 39 out of 41 now. 40 out of 42. Two minutes and six seconds remaining in the first quarter. And you can see the score, 14 to seven, Nebraska. Leo Lewis and Steve Sly are deep. And Todd is going to Sly at the eight yard line. Come on, Stevie, show me your stuff here. He runs into the back of Leo Lewis and goes down at the 22. A 14 yard return for Steve Sly, the freshman from Kansas City. Well, we have seen Two good offensive drives, one by Nebraska, one by Missouri, and of course the one big Nebraska play that gives them the 14 to seven lead. Two minutes left in the first period. Now let's check the offense as Allard comes out over the football. Lewis and Downer to the right side. Jim Wilder and Earl Gant in the backfield. Winslow lined up on the left behind Bradley. And they give it to Gant. Gant can't find too much running room. Give him maybe two yards. And it's second down and eight. Tried to go wide, and they really shut that down nicely. Brought down by a host of Nebraska defenders that one. They, they, they pursued him outside and didn't let him get outside. 
or at least getting any running room outside, and they shut him down. The one thing, Bob, that Gant likes to do is hit the right side right up at Stan Lechner and Howard Richards, and then instead of going through the hole, right off outside to the right. Well, that's a, a good back. will follow his blockers. Blockers, sometimes the plays aren't always designed. There There's the turnaround. Play. And they've got Phil Bradley. One yard, and that is it. Brought down by George Andrews, right in. Good hustle by George Andrews coming all the way across from his right side, making a play on Bradley from the back. Tell you what, look at that defensive front line from, for uh, Nebraska. 223, 245, 207, 250, 195. Not a whole lot of size or as far as weight goes, but a lot of speed. They are quick, and they're strong. Tom Osborne preaches strength and weightlifting. Phil Bradley doesn't like Nebraska's defense, and he calls a timeout. We've got 47 seconds left in the first period. The one thing that if, if you read the Nebraska media guide, the one thing you will find are how much a player can bench press, how much strength they've got. Very, very important to Tom Osborne. Well, I think, like we were reading the press guide last night in the room, and, and uh, they'll say this guy is number third in the, in the bench pressing, this guy is third in, in uh, vertical jump or first in vertical jump. They're, it's very important to them, and I think it's important to any, any college team that their players are physically fit because I'm not saying that somebody like Kansas doesn't have a program like that, but when you lose 15 people, to injuries as Kansas has this year, there's something wrong. I know the Cardinals, uh, the St. Louis football Cardinals, a couple years ago went out and hired a, a uh, what we call them a stretch coach, and uh, it really did cut down on the injuries that we had that year. It cut down tremendously. Uh, the, your muscles are stretched, you're relaxed, you're able to take a blow on the knee or a blow on the shoulder or a blow on the head and really not get hurt. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna feel it, but it's not a crippling type of injury. And so I think, you know, more and more coaches are going into these, uh, uh, this type of programs, and, and they use, uh, they've gone to using the, the outfit called the Nautilus, which the Cardinals use, and the Nautilus, about, yeah. the Nautilus equipment, about 15 or 20 teams in the NFL do use it, and it's very good. Well, Missouri on third down and seven, they send Downer and Lewis to the left. You can see him at the right corner of your screen. Bill Bradley under Pete Allard. And Bradley wants to throw. Bradley tucks it away. He's hit. And Phil Bradley goes down with a three-yard gain. So that's going to bring on Jeff Brockhouse to punt it away. Well, it's going to give going to give Jeff a chance to get his foot into it, I hope. Frank Lockett and Kenny Brown, 80 and 22, as you look at Downer and Bradley come off the field, are dropping back deep. Brockhouse has got the wind at his back. If he can get that ball up in the arrow, you'll see it go a ton. There he got it go. up. Nice punt. Deep punt. Going to Brown at the 25. And Ken Brown slips down at the 33-yard line, and that's where the Huskers will take over. Nice punt that time. Nice punt and nice coverage. By Jeff Brockhouse, 47 yards. So he boomed it. His longest this year was 60. Kenny Blair finally made the tackle on the far sideline as we look at the field. All right. The one thing we saw the last time Nebraska had it, they moved it on the ground, Bob, and they moved it very well. How do you shut it down? Well, obviously, you're going to have to make some adjustments, but I'll tell you one thing. They moved it on the ground because we missed some tackles, and you can't miss the tackles. you gotta, you got to wrap them up, and you got to gang tackle. you got to get everybody there. Get off your man and get to the man that's got the ball. Sorley gives it to Rick Burns, 35, and almost broke through the line. Finally stopped with a gain of four yards. Chris Garlick right there was a perfect example. Do you see how he put his head and shoulders across the man's hips and brought him down? You don't break tackles when you tackle like that. 119 yards rushing for Rick Burns. The first quarter has come to an end. And the Huskers lead it 14 to 7. We'll be back right after. They send Ken Brown in motion, flip it back to Rick Burns. Burns at the 35. Burns gets two yards, and that's it. So it's third down and five. And now is the time, Bob. The defense has got to do it. Well, right there, you saw a perfect example, Steve, of how this is. We, I can see Norm Goodman. I can see Peterson. I can see uh, Berg coming back, Eric Wright. See all the guys coming back from, to the huddle. That's the kind of uh, play you have to have, where you have four or five guys get in pursuit and shoot them down. This Burns. Mis Mr. Burns is not going to be brought down by one fellow, I'll tell you that. Ken Brown wide to the right side. Smith is on the left side. And Sorley's going to put it up. Sorley under pressure, screen, screen pass, pass to Burns at the 40. Burns 50-yard line. Burns 46. First down, Nebraska. Chris Garlick. 
again. Hold them down. Nice screen pass. They set it up perfect. Shorley, you're going to be able to watch Shorley drive back and draw everybody in. Watch him. You're going to just see him. He drives back. In the lane, defensive. Well, we got a little interference there. But you can see Bengard and Stevens chasing him. Got a 21-yard pickup. 21 yards. That's a tough play to play. You got you got to be able to play that play to to, to defense it. Sorley's got I am hip in the lineup, but he gives it to Franklin, and Franklin barely gets a yard, and that's it. So it's second down and nine. Good defense by Missouri. Lauderdale, Lauderdale went in and tripped him up, and Garlic came over and made sure he didn't go any further. One thing this Nebraska team has got is some running backs. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And I tell you what, they got some horses on that front line that block for them too. Yeah, they really do. And you're talking about Kelvin Clark, a guy from uh, that goes 275 on the left side, left tackle. He's wearing number 73. They're going to run kind of in his direction with hip. Garlic misses a tackle. And I am hip is finally tripped up by Russ Calabrese. Calabrese made one play there. I tell you, if Calabrese hadn't made that tackle, he was off to the races. That was a five-yard pickup by hip. But... Uh, Garlic, uh, Chris Garlic made a play. Watch right here. Watch, watch hips. See Garlic roll off, spin off, and mess up hips running pattern. And then Calabrese comes up and knocks him down. If Garlic, or if, yeah, if Chris hadn't hit him, he'd have gone a long way. There was a wide, wide hole there. Third down and four. Smith is wide to the right side. Sorley on a long count. He's going to Smith. And go! What a catch by Smith! catch by Tim Smith from Chula Vista, California. I tell you, when it, when it rains, it pours. 30, 36-yard pickup. Watch this. Charlie drops back. Right there, 21. Eric Wright breaks it up. Smith grabs hold of it. They're down on the four-yard line. That's, a, that's what you call a real brittle frat. Oh, boy, that gets to you. Unbelievable pass play that time. And it sets up a first and goal for Nebraska. I am hip, flags are down. Hip gets two yards, but there's a flag at the line of scrimmage. First flag of the day. That's right, it is. I tell you, you gotta give, you gotta give the man Smith that caught the ball. You gotta give him credit. Was it Smith that caught it? That last play, you have to give him credit for being alert and looking back and being on top of things to catch the ball. Penalty against Missouri. Halfway to the goal line. So now we have a first down and one. One yard and one foot. A little offsides. There's your signal. And there's that Nebraska offense. Well, you got to stop them here. Otherwise, they go up by two touchdowns. We've seen Missouri fight back many times, but this is tough. Well, we can do it. Franklin and Hip in the backfield. Now hip goes in motion, top of your screen. There's uh -huh. movement, Nebraska. We won't get that five yards back. Yes, sir. Illegal procedure by Nebraska. That's going to be more than the five, coach. I tell you, that's one thing. See, when we we jumped off, we lost the yard. They jump off, they lose five. That's right. Uh, we'll show them. <laughs> Tom Short, number 74, jumping off sides. A little too anxious. That gives us a little breathing room. Gives us a little room to work down here. Gives Chris a little room to hit some people. Come on, gang. Sorley. A little mix up. We sends Lockett wide to the left side. And now Darn. Missouri has got to call a timeout. So with 12.38 left in the first half, Nebraska leading 14 to 7. We'll take a break. Timeout remaining before the end of the first half as you look at the very chilly Missouri cheerleaders on the sidelines. We had a little mix up on the field. Too many guys or not enough guys on the field. They had to call a timeout. First down, the ball is spotted at the seven. They give it to Burns, and Rick oh, Burns right. is stopped at the six. Wendell Ray coming in there. Bungarda had him around the ankles, and Wendell Ray come in, sealed him off. We're going to take another look at it. Give you a chance to watch Wendell. Watch Bungarda, I believe it's Bungarda, closed down right here. Bungarda had him around the ankles, or his big body was there for the guy to trip over. Then Wendell Ray come in and wrapped him up. Second down as they send Smith wide to the left side. Brown, who is the wing back, is in tight. Lined up right off the left tackle. Looks like movement. No flags knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Oh. And all
almost intercepted by Eric Berg. Eric Berg was on the ball there. I'll tell you what, they sent their big, big tight end, Junior Miller, just broke him through the line. That would have been a touchdown because there wasn't yes. a soul within five yards of him. Exactly. Nice play by Eric Berg. Big play by Eric Berg. Third down now. Third down and what, about eight? Third and six. Third and six. Ball spotted at the seven-yard line. Sorley gives it to Franklin, and Franklin is nailed at the nine. Boy, Tom Sorley tried to cute one that, that time. He turned his head one way and handed off to Franklin the other way. And Missouri big, read it. Big Ken Bengarda read it like a book. Watch it. You're going to take a look at it. They tried to drop. They tried to cross block. I'll tell you what happened. The back ran inside. He should have ran between the cross block, and he ran inside, and the man blocked Bengarda right into it. Nice play by Ken Bengarda. Brings Billy Todd in to try a field goal. His kick is up, and it's good. 11 minutes, 32 seconds left in the first half, and now the Cornhuskers go out in front by 10 points at 17 to 7. Nine out of 14 in field goal attempts is now 10 out of 15, a 26-yard field goal, and Nebraska leads 17 to 7 as he tries to tee it up. Better three, better three than seven, Steve. Oh, sure. Here's a picture of our Stevie Jersey. Sly, number 28 on the bottom of your screen, and Leo Lewis, 10 at the top of your screen. Deep to receive the kickoff from Todd. I think Stevie Sly just might break one one of these times if they get the ball over here to him. Maybe he'll do it now. No, it's Lewis with the ball at the 10. Lewis straight up the gut, 25-26 yard line. So Missouri on a 17-yard return. Has a good first down, relatively good field position. And plenty of time remaining in the first half to get back in it. They are 10 points down as you see a Missouri football player not feeling very well, laying on the AstroTurf at approximately the 26-yard line. Brad Edelman is down, being attended to at the moment. Might, might mention, Steve, we got two great Missouri boosters in our box with us today. Al Knopf out of St. Louis, Knopf Builders and Bill Caucus, who I just was given a note by Al has attended 75 Missouri games in a row, both home and away. Is that right? So I, I, I don't know if that's a record, but I'd say that's pretty darn good. 75? Well, he's seen the good and the bad, hasn't he? <laughs> I like the number 75, too. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Bill, I tell you what, Missouri's got a lot to be proud of with fans like you, you and Al both. We're proud to be uh, associated with you. Here we go. Lewis, wide to the right side and down or left. And Phil Bradley to run the offense for the Tigers. He pitches back Jim Wilder. Nice Wilder turns the corner at the 30 and goes out of bounds at the 32. So it's a five yard gain, second and five. Andy Means finally forced him out of bounds, but there's some nice blocking. Nice blocking that time. Again, Earl Gant throwing a nice block. See it right here, watch Earl block out. Beautiful block by Gant. Boy, those two complement each other so nicely. Now Bo Holloway is in the game to the left side. Lewis wide to the right. Gant and Wilder behind Bradley on second down. And five. They give to Earl Gant. Earl Gant puts his head down, keeps his legs going, and gets across the 25. And he'll be a yard short of a first down. He got four. Again, trying to run a quick trap play up the middle, bringing Mark Jones, Ron Allard, and Lechner. Closed down pretty good. George Andrews, number 96 for Nebraska. Boy, don't you know those cheerleaders are chilly? <laughs> About 18 pair of pantyhose on. <laughs> Third and a yard. Ball spotted, 36-yard line. Bradley to Wilder, and Wilder's got the first down and about three more. Jimmy Pillen, number 29 for Nebraska, making the play. Yeah, we, we laugh about those pantyhose, but I tell you what, uh, some of the some of the pros wear them to keep them warm in them cold ball games. They'll put on a pair of pantyhose. Now, now you opened up a can of worms. Did you ever wear them? Well, I couldn't get any big enough to go around my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> 10 27 left in the first half. Missouri 10 points down as Bradley a quick pitch out to Jim Wilder at the 40 and Wilder at the 44 yard line a four yard game. So it'll be second down and six as you look at the very very chilly crowd here at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln. Well, you ought to see us. You think they're cold. Phil Bradley took kind of what I thought was a little unnecessary hit. 
he handed the ball off. I tell you, he's running the option well. He's drawing in that defensive end, but the only thing is, the defensive end is knocking the heck out of him. Well, that's what you got to do if you're an option quarterback, right? Well, that's what they tell me, but I tell you, I think twice about doing it too, too many times. On second and six for Bradley, a straight handoff. And Jim Wilder gets four more. Lee Koontz making a play. So it's third down and two. I tell you, our, off our offensive line is doing a heck of a job moving the Nebraska people back. We just keep up the steady driving. There comes Bo Holloway, number 81, into your screen with a play. He gives it to Bradley. On third down and two, and Bo Holloway and Leo Lewis both go out to the left side. Winslow is lined up on the right. It is not a double tight end offense. This is the first time we haven't gone double tight. Bradley to Gant, and Gant's got the first down across midfield to the 49-yard line. Three-yard pickup. Again, Howard Richards and Stan Lechner. Colin Winslow following the big, strong right side of his They're the Missouri fans. Line. Here we go. Watch it. Look at right there. Look at Howard Richards. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Howard Richards sent David Clark. He got rug burn on his tutu. He got knocked back so far. Lewis to the left, down to right. You like that? Oh, you're still, I'm telling you. <laughs> you're something. Bradley on a spin. He's got the option. He doesn't want to pitch. And he is nailed by about five of them. Two-yard gain. Second down and eight. Bill Barnett coming across, making a play. Bradley wanted to pitch it out, but they had to play pretty well defended. They had it spread all the way out to the sideline. Didn't have anywhere to go, so Bradley had to eat the ball. Holloway now comes back in as Downer goes out, and they bring a play from Warren Powers. We get a shot of Warren Powers. We had one earlier. You can't even identify him. They're so wrapped up down there. It's got to be cold on that field because it sure as heck is cold up here. I tell you, it's colder up here than it is down there because we're above the stadium and the wind's coming in here. Bradley to pass on second and eight. Under pressure, gets it away, almost. Intercepted by George Andrews. George Andrews almost had that, but it's too bad he underthrew it because Kellen Winslow was wide open. We'll give you a chance to look at it. I hope you can get a chance to see Kellen Winslow because he was wide open. Bill Bradley rolling out to his right. He got hit just as he let loose. That might have been what pulled it off, but boy, was Kellen open. Bradley got a whole bunch of heat that time. Third down and nine. Now we definitely, definitely a passing situation. I would not want to be a quarterback in the option situation you talked about because if they send two guys out like that, there is no protection. Bradley, little draw play. draw play. Jim Wilder at the 40 and Woo. Wilder at the 35. Woo. First down, Missouri. All right. Nice play. Everyone expecting the pass play. Lawrence Cole making the stop finally, but not until he picked up about 12 yards for a first down. You think third down and nine, everyone expects pass, and it was. Everyone played pass except Missouri, and they had a draw play in the making. Good play Beautiful. as Pete Allard comes out over the ball. Beautiful timing for that play, Steve. We haven't run so many draw plays this year at all. No. But I can remember. No, you're right. We've run very few, so it was a nice play. Lewis and Holloway. Bradley wants to throw. And it is knocked down as they intended it for Jim Wilder. Boy, that was George Andrews again. That's two of them, Andrews is knocked down. Bill's got to realize pretty soon he can't throw through that man. He's got to throw over him. Bradley's two out of seven in passing. Two of those have been knocked down for 14 yards. He is also passing into the wind. The wind is blowing in Missouri's face right now. Kazuntite, was that a sneeze? That was a, that was a little, that was a very shallow cough because if I'd have coughed as hard as I got a cough, I'd have blown your eardrums out. <laughs> Second down and 10. Bradley to Wilder. Jim Wilder at the 30 and down at the 32 yard line. You see how Wilder grabs his offensive lineman? That time he grabbed Dave Gunner and kind of held on to him and followed him through. That's some excellent running by Wilder. Some excellent blocking by Gunder. But I love the way they just latch on those offensive linemen, let the line, <laughs> right? Let the offensive linemen get the heck beat out of them, and they kind of follow them through. Well, that's what they're there for, right? That's true. That's what they're getting paid to do. Jim Wilder, 71 yards rushing so far today on 10 carries. Gant has 38. It is third down and three. Missouri has got to get another first down. Yeah. Wilder. They close the hole down nicely, and he is going to be what looks to be about six inches short of a first down. Did you see him close that hole? Yeah, it opened, it was there, and then for a brief second, and then it wasn't there. It's just going to be where they marked the ball. Well, where they marking it on the sideline, it's a first down, but we're well, gonna, they're going to measure. No, it'll be very close to a first down, though. Then we're going to see. If it's not a first down, 
I hope they go for it. You got to go, right? You got two inches. You can see it. It's that close. Two inches. Look at him close this hole down again, Bob. It's going to open up. You're going to see it open up, and then all of a sudden, look at that. Beautiful play. Number 40, Lawrence Cole, and number 40, Bruce Dunning. Close that down. Dunning's actually the man to come in and, and shut it down. Nice play, Nebraska. Now we got a fourth down in inches. Okay. Kellen Winslow and Anderson both in. Double tight end. Big Gary Ellis and Wilder, your backs. Yep, got the full backs in, both of them. Got Bradley, you. sneak it. He should sneak it. Got your horses in there. What do you think? Quarterback sneak for Bradley, and it looks like he's got the first down. I would mark him at this point as having the first down. Again, it's going to be close. It just, uh, it just depends where the officials mark the ball, Steve. I think they got it. Tommy Anderson is clapping his hands like they've got the first down. Every, every, all the Missouri players say first down, but they're going to measure it again. Well, if you look at it, it's not even going to be close. Take a look at it on, on, the, on your screen, and I don't think it's really going to be that close. It's not. Length of a football. Yes. Now Downer comes back in, so he's got to play. Tom Anderson goes out there back to a single tight end with Kellen Winslow. Let's check the running backs for you when they break the huddle. It looks like it's going to be Gann and Gary Ellis. And that's who it is. You're giving Jimmy Wilder a break. Let him get some breath. All he's got to do is open, <laughs> open his mouth with that wind blowing down there. Now Bradley wants to throw. He's got Winslow open. He goes to him, complete at the 15 and out of bounds at nice. the 13. Nice play. Jeff Hansen was with him, but I tell you what, with a receiver like Winslow, you've got to be on top of him constantly. You, yep. can, you can't afford to let him go. Watch Bradley rolling out to his, rolling out to his left. There's Winslow, big Kellen Winslow, 11-yard pickup, first down Missouri. Winslow's first reception of the day is 24th of the year. He came into the game with 347 receiving yards, so now he's got 358. I tell you, I've got a mind like a computer. Been working with Dave Kopp, our statistician. Got me thinking like a Univac machine now. <laughs> with a broken battery. <laughs> first and 10. Bradley's got two receivers to the right side. Long count. Bradley under some heat. Fires. Winslow. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh. Oh. What a nice play. Steve, let me tell you, was that a play? Kellen had to look down and see where he was at. <laughs> Watch this one again. <laughs> We're not going to see it again. We don't have that on replay, but I'll tell you what. Kellen Winslow caught the ball, beautiful catch. He looked down, he saw he was one foot about short of the goal line and just did a little bunny hop into the end zone. That's the way to do it, right? Oh, do we care how they get in as long as they get in? That's Bradley's 12th touchdown pass of the year, and that was Kellen Winslow's sixth touchdown catch of the year as Brockhouse attempts to pat. Jeffrey, high snap. Brockhouse gets it down and gets it up. It's good. Very good. Six minutes and a half remaining in the first half. And now Missouri has cut Nebraska's lead to 17 to 14. We'll We're watching Missouri get ready to kick off. I got a note here I want to read. Uh, there are 40 people from East St. Louis here today to watch the game. Uh, you know, there are seven players on the Mizzou team from East St. Louis. We're watching the kickoff. I'll get back to it in just one second. See? All right. It's going to lock it at the five-yard line. 15, 20, hit. And falls forward to the 24, does Frank Lockett. Nice return. Go ahead, Bob. Well, I was just going to say, uh, Mrs. T or Tony Green's mom, Mrs. Mary Green, and Kellen Winslow's mother, Mrs. Winslow, were in charge. There are seven players on the Mizzou Ball Club from East St. Louis, and 40 of them came down. They left last night at midnight by bus and drove all the way here, which I think is, a, is beautiful that they drive all the way here, especially in this weather. they got to be some proud moms. Andrew Franklin, the fullback. I am hip is in at the eye back position. Lockett is wide to the right, and that's hip with the ball, and oh. hip is nailed by Chris Garland. Boy, I'm telling you, Chris, Chris is playing like a linebacker possessed. He got him for a two-yard loss. We're going to give you another chance to look at it. Norm Goodman almost had him, number 98. Watch it right here. Watch Garlic on his hit. Oh, Chris, they didn't vote you all big A, but you should have been. Second down and 13, ball spotted, 21-yard line for the Cornhuskers. Ken Brown, the wingback, is in tight on the left side in a slot position. On count. I am hip. Goodman trying to catch hip. He's got him. 
but Hip gains valuable yardage before Goodman could bring him down. He had a host of blockers out in front of him that time. Give you a shot at how Nebraska they had a they had a bunch of blockers out in front of him. We couldn't break through it. Charlie hands off to Hip. You can see Goodman chasing him. Garlic chasing him. Ray is blocked. Eric Wright, Vonick Bungarda brings him down. They got 10 yards on it, so it's third down and three. Lockett comes wide to the right side. The tight end, Junior Miller, lines up on the left. Andrew Franklin and Hip in the backfield behind Sorley. Brown goes in motion. Running Hip. that side again. Hip is nailed, but I think he may have the first down. I think he fell across, Steve, for the first down. Bungarda brought him down. 77. He's going to be very close to that first down marker which is located at the 34, and now they're going to bring it out and measure it. You can go get a good picture of it from the, on your, on your uh, he got it. picture. He got it. Nice little football. We are seeing one fine offensive show today between Missouri and Nebraska, and right now Nebraska with two touchdowns and a field goal lead Missouri by three points. The Tigers, two touchdowns. Missouri is here to play ball, let me tell you. Well, they're against a team that likes to play football. Second ranked team in the country, the team that will represent the Big Eight in the Orange Bowl. Kenny Brown. Oh. And he slips and goes down. He got three yards, but he had he not slipped on the AstroTurf, and it is wet down there. That was that flanker reverse, Steve. And bless his little heart, his little tootsies went off. <laughs> he fell down <laughs> on his boom boom because he was gone. Watch it again as he came all the way from the right side around back to the left. He had a he had his big tight end Junior Miller out blocking for him and he was he could have got a ton of yardage but he fell down. Second and seven. Sorley pulls it out. Sorley has the football. Tom Sorley has got a first down and many many more. And I don't think the Missouri defense knew he had the ball. Garda, Peterson and. and uh, Peterson and Mangarda and, and Perlick in there. Garlic in there. 25 yard pickup. There you see it again. I really don't think they thought he had it either. And the thing was, Sorley, Sorley had his back, following him down the sideline. He could have pushed it out to him if he wanted to. He tucked that thing away and hit it on his hip nicely. First and 10 inside the 40, 38 yard line. And now Sorley gives it to hip 32. And he has stopped after a gain of two. By the way, I am hip comes in the game today, needing 92 yards to hit 1,000 this year. Let's see, how many has he got already? 19, so got a long way to go. But knowing I am hip and the kind of a runner he is. You know, he was a walk-on. Did you know that? No, I didn't. He's from Chapin, South Carolina, and he is a walk-on, or was. Obviously, he's, he's under scholarship now. You talk well, about a talented walk-on. A lot of times, Steve, that's where some of your best athletes come from. Now they split it. They send a wide receiver left. They put a slot on the left side. The fullback was the only guy back, and Sorley wants to throw. Too much time. All the time in the world. And he is hit and hit again at the 31, so he got five yards. Steve Hamilton. Boy, he had, he could have, he his mother could have knit him a blanket right there. He had too much time. He really did. Too much time. Our, our uh, defensive ends had dropped off in the pass coverage, so we only had three men rushing. We had five guys blocking. That's a little tough. Yeah, but it's, I would think, wouldn't you, that it's probably good that the ends were back there in pass coverage. Well, that's what made him run, obviously. Iowa State leading Colorado right now, 20 to 16. Third down and two. I am hip. It oh. hit. And he did not get the first down. Bungarda and Garlic made a, a dual hit on I am hip right there. Lost the yard on that play. Watch Sorley hand off the hip. Now he's gonna come here. Bungarda wraps him up and then Garlic comes in here and seals it with a kiss. It's fourth and three and Nebraska wants a timeout. They want to decide exactly what they're going to do and if it's go for it, how they're going to do it. So we've got two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the first half. 17 to 14, Nebraska leads. Will be right now. It's going to go for a field goal. They mark the ball at the 38, 48-yard attempt. It oh. is up. It's got the win, but it is no good. Short. About five yards short. But it had the direction, so Missouri takes over at the line of scrimmage with two minutes and 15 seconds left. Not bad field position, Steve. 31-yard line. I'm telling you something. Do you realize that we're coming? Leo Lewis comes wide to the left side. He is the only receiver out. Everybody is in relatively tight, as Bradley calls it, from the 31. 
Earl Gant is hit, breaks a tackle, hit again, and he got a yard total. The man actually made a yard on that. The offensive line broke down, and the defensive line did a super Rod job. Watch it. Rod Horn was the first to stick him, then a host of them. I should say a whole host of them came in. Watch right here. Some nice blocking. Rod Horn wasn't. Wasn't, he wasn't the first one to hit him. George Andrews was the first one to hit him. The whole defensive line was there. They played off everybody, played off their blocks, and got in the backfield. On second and nine is 145 left in the first half. Missouri's got to hustle up. They have one timeout left. Jim Wilder, and Wilder gets two yards as the clock continues to run to a minute 30. Keller guards. Allard still a center. Two tight ends. Third and seven, Bradley to throw, flips it out to Jim Wilder, complete. And Wilder can't get out of bounds, so the clock will continue. And he did get the first down. Eight yard gain, the official stops it so they can mark the ball and move the chains. Sideline passes, gotta get out of bounds to stop the clock. Lewis wide to the left, he's the only receiver out. Bradley hands off again to Jim Wilder who gets it across to the 47 yard line, a gain of five. 30 seconds left in the first half, and it almost... You know, I don't see him getting a touchdown. Of course, I hope I eat my words. Well, they're going to hand off, and Jim Wilder cuts it back inside, and that will be the last play of the first half. Unless, unless they got a play called, which they do. Well, they do, don't they? they got to stay called two plays. Now they got to call timeout to, they, to reset the chain. Exactly. The clock has stopped with 19 seconds left. Now either throw the ball out of bounds or hit somebody in a down and out. Here we go. Hurry up offense. Bradley fires it out. Incomplete intended for Lewis, but he didn't even try and throw it to him. That's just, that's just the old stop the clock play. Feet. I got my feet underneath him. And there's, there's how bad the wind's blowing. Bill Bradley back. Under heat. Throws it. Incomplete. Now, Intended for Bo Holloway. There are eight seconds remaining on the clock. That play, play was broken up by Jeff Hansen. Five seconds. Phil Bradley. You got to fire it up. Cows will be kicking off. Nebraska will be receiving with Ken Brown, 22, and Frank Locke at number 80 back deep as you watch Jeff Brockhouse. It is 17 to 14, and the Cornhuskers leading the Missouri Tigers. Thanks to Steve Kenamore for talking with us. As I say, he is our spotter, but it's recruiting time. And it is time to start picking up the football players for next year. As Brockhouse gets it up into the wind, Lockett's got it at the 10. Lockett 20-yard line. Lockett 27-yard line, and that's where Nebraska takes over first down. Seven. Nebraska will be receiving with Ken Brown, 22. And Frank Locke at number 80 back deep as you watch Jeff Brockhouse. It is 17 to 14 and the Cornhuskers leading the Missouri Tigers. Thanks to Steve Kenamore for talking with us. As I say, he is our spotter, but it's recruiting time. And it is time to start picking up the football players for next year. As Brockhouse gets it up into the wind, Lockett's got it at the 10. Lockett 20 yard line. Lock at 27 yard line, and that's where Nebraska takes over first down. 17 yard return by Lockett. And now we will find out exactly what Missouri can do, or yeah, what Missouri can do defensively, what Nebraska is going to be doing offensively. Audra Franklin. I am hip in the backfield behind Tom Sorley, and they give it to hip. Check it. Rick Burns is in the game at the eye back position, and he gets a couple of yards. So it'll be second down now, and about five yards to go. I'm back. Hello. Hi. Mother Nature called, and I answered. <laughs> Nebraska's got two receivers wide to the right side. As Sorley about ready to call it. No flags go down. Sorley to throw it across the middle and it's complete. Hey, yeah. Number 22, Kenny Brown. And a first down for Nebraska. Right on the money, Steve. Lauderdale and Wright were right with him all the way, but the pass was right on the money. Nice reception. 
Take a look at it. Charlie's going to drop back, find his man. Look at that. He threw it right in between the two of them. Due to the wind, if they want to stay up there. The running game has been so powerful. Rick Burns breaks a tackle, and had he stayed on his feet, he would have had another seven or ten yards. I tell you, Chris Garlic, Chris Garlic took him on that time. He took on Kelly Southfield that time. Up with Franklin and Burns in the backfield behind Sorley. That's Franklin, and he's nailed at the line of scrimmage. Fall forward for a couple, and that, I think, will be a first down for Nebraska. If it's not a first down, it's very, very close. Big Norman Goodman and Ken Bungarda making a play for Missouri. I would think they're going to bring the chains out. Well, it's a little bit, a little, little frightening. That Nebraska's moving the ball fairly well down the field. Here we go. It is third and a yard to go. One wide receiver out. That is Smith. Everybody else is in tight. Quarterback sneak. Yes, it is. And Sorley gets the first down, a gain of two. So Nebraska continues to move the football, and they continue to do it on the ground. They is shaking. That is a mild way of putting what he's doing. On first down for Nebraska. They give it to the eye back. That's Burns. He breaks a tackle, and he gets it down to the 32-yard line. Nice hit, Garlic and Berg. Three yards, second down and seven. And watch it again as Rick Burns barrels his way over the left side. Nice play. You're going to see it right here. Watch Chris come in here. Boy, they open more holes. Audrey Franklin was the guy who opened the last one and threw the last block. But that offensive line for Nebraska just blows folks right off of there. On second and six, Ricky Burns. Burns is finally nailed. Almost. Fumbles a football and Missouri's oh, no. got it. No, no, umpire, no. Doggone it, They're no. calling it dead at that point, and they are saying it is Nebraska's ball. Warren Powers is just beside himself on the sideline. Watch it again. Did he fumble or did he not fumble the ball? Boy, well, believe me, I showed a little class here by keeping my cool. This is a fumble, doggone it. He fumbled the football. The ball was stripped loose before he hit the ground. The only thing that's keeping them apart from being zebras, their stripes are going up and down. Boy. Well, that is a bad call. There's no excuse for that, especially in a game this darn close. By the way, Rick Burns has just established a new Nebraska University career rushing record. There's one thing to, there's one thing to be down and, and the ball bounce out of your hand, but there's another. Left side, Miller lines up on the right. Burns is in the eye back spot. Franklin, the fullback behind Sorley. That is a break that did not go in Missouri's favor and should have. And they nailed Burns. Garlic is the guy laying on top. Garlic has the football. They're that is, they're, well, they're that claiming is, they fumbled it again. No, I, no. Garlic, I think, took the ball away from him after the play was dead that time. Well, they blew the last one. They might blow this one. Who knows? And a first down. You can see Garlic come out of there, out of the, the pile with the football. The that. Excuse me. Get you a little angry. Ooh. First and ten for Nebraska. Lockett is way out to the left side. Now they've got a wing back reverse. reverse. Dunk. Kenny Brown hit by Poe and finally knocked out of bounds. All the way down to the eight yard line. Wing back reverse with Kenny Brown. Brought him down. That's about the third time they've run that play. He sets out in the slot position, flanked out to the side, bring him back all the way back across and hand up off to him. And uh, what was that, 16 yards all the way down to the nine yard line, first and goal for Nebraska. If they score here, Missouri could be in trouble. Brown has the wing back lined up on the left in the slot. Sorley pitches it back at the 10 and out of bounds at about the same spot. They lost a yard, I think, possibly. Picked up a yard. Picked up one yard. I thought possibly they might have lost a yard, but they did pick up a yard. Nice play. Again, Sorley. Sorley in the fake. Keeps the ball right there. He's played well, but he has no outside force. No outside force from anybody. Second down and goal. The ball is at the eight-yard line. Sorley wants to throw. 
Corley has to eat the football at the 11. Wendell Ray, 90, was chasing him. He's the guy that finally hit him and knocked him out of bounds along with 68, Chris Garlic. Three-yard loss, Steve. This is where we this is where we seem to get our toughest. Russ Calabrese is laying in the end zone as you look at this play again. You see right here, they don't quit. Wendell Ray and Garlic with their great speed come up and grab Sorling, throw him out at the 11 for a three-yard loss. That is Russ Calabrese, 17. You're looking at now, and it looked like he may have a problem with his right knee. I didn't get a chance to see either that or. He is obviously not feeling well. We've got 11 minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the third period. The Horn Cusker. Horn. <laughs> horn <laughs> corn try, Huskers. Try it, try it again. The Corn Huskers <laughs> are leading. 17 to 14 as you see so they're getting they're getting some good they're getting some good yardage out of that pitch out play Frank Lockett wide to the right Franklin and Burns behind Sorley lined up in the eye and Brown is in the slot right Burns Burns down at the two yard line and a nice open field tackle by Eric Wright because had Eric Wright not stopped him that would have been six nine yards Right there, our nose man. Looked like our nose man jumped over to the left, to the uh, left defensive side, right defensive side. Just, uh, well, we got out of shot at a little too late. But left a ton of, <coughs> a hole a mile wide to run into. Dog on it. 10 minutes, 55 seconds left in the third period. Nebraska about to make it 23 if they can get into the end zone. Let's hold them. Let's hold them, Mizzou. Burns, touchdown. 23 to 14. Well, you can't give them that kind of daylight. You can't give them that kind of time. Give them that much room to run because they're going to do it. He, he really just steps inside right here. He doesn't even have to go anywhere. He could have walked in. I'll tell you, though, that offensive line for Nebraska did an, an unbelievable job because he ran between his center, Kelly Saulfield, and his left guard, Barney Cotton, and they opened a hole that was huge. The point after attempt by Bill Todd is good. Joe Lewis are deep to receive the kickoff by Billy Todd. Nebraska has scored. They lead 24 to 14. And the South Park kicker booms one nice and high to Hill at the three. At the 10. Terry Hill a hit at the 20 and falls forward to the 23-yard line. Nice coverage by Nebraska on their kickoff. That's one thing I've noticed about Nebraska. They've got excellent special teams, as does Mizzou. So you've got, you know, you've got all three facets of the game playing an important role in, in the outcome of today's ball game. This is a very, very important. I, wouldn't you agree, Bob? A I, very important offensive series for Missouri. I was going to say, Steve, this is this is going to be right here with 10 minutes and a, 10 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. This series right now, uh, Missouri has to do something very positive. Earl Gant, Jim Wilder in the backfield behind Bradley. And it's Gant. Gant breaks a couple of tackles and gets the ball out to the 32-yard line, a gain of seven yards. So it'll be second down and three. Brought down by Rod Horn, just a 259-pound child. Watch this one again. Gant carried people on his back this time. Again, he runs up behind Jones and, and Gunder and Allard. Gets hit and then gets a lot of yardage on his own. And Jimmy Wilder was right in there leading the blocking for him, too, leading interference. Ball at the 32, second down and three. The give is to Jim Wilder, breaks the tackle, still on his feet. And Jim Wilder across midfield. Now he drops the football, but they're going to rule that dead also, which is. That was dead. That was dead. That was dead. There's a difference. You know, watch it again, and then I want to talk to you for a second. Brought down by Tim Fisher, who is, uh, watch Wilder, watch Wilder. Doggone you, you little rascal. 20-yard pickup. That guy is so gutsy, he could be in the NFL right now. Boy, he's a great runner. You know, we're, of course, sitting up in the booth cheering for Missouri, but we wouldn't do that if we didn't, didn't think that the call that was made before was a bad call and that this one was a good call. We'll call them like we see them. The pass complete to Winslow from Phil Bradley at the 31, and another first down. <laughs> Kellen turned around, handing the ball to the defensive back that was over there guarding him. Watch it again as Winslow went out and found room to catch it. Right here, well, and Kellen came all the way across field. Bradley rolled out to his left and threw all the way back right. 
16-yard pickup. Ball spotted at the Nebraska 31. Missouri has got to get in the end zone. They have got to bit, get themselves back in this game. We said it's an important drive. A busted play. Bradley wanted to hand it off. And the man, I think it was Jim Wilder, was too far away from Bradley to get it. So he ended up getting a yard, and that's it. Definitely a misplay. Bradley was left standing there wide open with the ball. That he was Gary Ellis, 43. Second down and nine. Two receivers to the left side, the wide side of the field, and Bradley wants to fire to him. Bill throws into the end zone. Almost to the end zone, at least to the two-yard line, to Kellen Winslow. <laughs> You know, I thought I thought as I watched Kellen Winslow that he was going to break down to the post, and he didn't. He came straight across. Watch it right here. Nice pass by Bradley. Now, we've lost sight of Winslow, but look at it. Look, Bradley, the way he ducks around and picks up 33 yards on a pickup, 30 yards on a pickup. Beautiful play. You're down on the one-yard line. Again, Winslow showing you why he's the, the tremendous athlete that he is. And this gives some credit to that offensive line, too, for some fine blocking. Ellis and Wilder behind Bradley at the one-yard line. Ellis. Ellis did not make it. And that, I hope we can see that again. That was a very dangerous handoff. Watch the handoff. Nebraska was almost at the handoff spot. Naked handoff right there. They had some great penetration that time. George Andrews got in there. He was almost there, like you say, as the ball was handed off. Well, we got our two horses in there. We got Ellis and Jimmy Wilder in the back. They're going to score. Take my word for it. Second and one. Why don't we run a quarterback option as he spins and takes it in himself? What do you think of that? I want to give it to the stud. Okay, the stud's got it and goes down at the two-yard line. Sorry. Jim Wilder loses one. Second down and two. That's all right. Good, get in there. It is now third down, and the ball is oh. spotted at the two. Third down and two. Well, now we got a score. The Cornhusker defense rose to that occasion that we talk about so often. That occasion is like Christmas or Thanksgiving. It, it's there all the time. Wilder and Ellis. Jim Wilder. Falls forward. Did he get in? No, he did not. Down to the one-inch line. It looked like it. He is that close. And Missouri is going to have to go for it on fourth down. We're going to go for it, I think. It's got but, to. It's but, got to be inches. But what do you call? Give it, I, give it to, I give it to Jimmy Wilder again. I would. I would. We've tried right Wilder. He got, Steve, he got a yard and a half right there because of his, his determination and the ability not to be brought down. He really did. Sounds like a good call. Bradley wants a timeout. He wants to call it to Powers. They get a timeout. 7-16 remaining in the third quarter. This defense, uh, just on the opposite scope, they're going to have a tremendous upsurge. Their offense is already over in the sideline going crazy. They want to get back in and try and score again. So Missouri has to score, and we got to score to stay in the ball game. We only got we got seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Uh, Bradley, I'm sure, is over talking, as we see right here, talking to Coach Powers. He's, and Coach Powers is getting some calls from his coaches up here in the box. So, uh, I don't know. I just if I if it was me, I, I'd give it to Jimmy Wilder and, and just say follow Howard Richards and Stan Lechner and go because he's going to get some yards. I can't see because of the angle of the shot, but it looked like he may also have been talking with Mike Price. Mike is the quarterback coach, and he is the man I think mainly responsible for doing so very much with Phil Bradley this year and bringing him around to a big time college Come on, quarterback. Let's go. Look, we got to go. The officials down here waving. I'm telling them if you don't get out there, I'm going to drop the yellow hanky. Whatever it is, Bradley has got it in his head. He'll go tell his team now, and they will try on fourth down and inches to get into that Nebraska end zone. Believe me, right now, the Nebraska defense feet aren't on the ground, and the Missouri offense's feet aren't on the ground. Listen to this crowd. They're going to go crazy. The crowd is Nebraska's. They're calling for the defense as Bradley asks for some quiet. Bad snap. Wilder, touchdown. touchdown. All right. Boy, let me tell you what. Some we're okay. We're okay. Darn, Bradley, don't do that to me. Stay there laying on the ground like you've been shot. Watch it. Watch the snap from center. There's a bad snap. Well, look at here. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. I want to tell you something. You know, they could have been just that delay right there, that, that little bobble right there that could have made that play work. Could have uh, been. You know, it's, yeah, it's, that's maybe goofy, but. No, no, that's very logical. 
the guy right there, he, he just the guys had lost their, their plane, they were diving in. Guys threw the block and Jimmy Wilder got in. Brockhouse, his kick is good. So Missouri did not let up for the second time in this football game. They come back and they only trail by three, 24 to 21. We'll be we said before Missouri started a drive that this was a drive that, 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 that would determine, I think, the, the outcome of the game possibly. And they did. They just marched right down the field. They, they passed. They, they ran. And, you know, the guys didn't quit. Gant, Wilder, everybody. Now the defense has got something to live for, to fight for, and let's get it. Franklin and Burns in the backfield behind Tom Sorley. One receiver right as Franklin gets the call and is nailed by Chris Garlick. Got a, either on the line or a yard loss, one or the other. Excellent play by the linebacker from Kansas City. I tell you, I mentioned it once before, he wasn't named all big eight, but he sure in blazes his playing like it. He's made about five, six, seven, maybe eight or nine individual stops today. And now they send Tim Smith, wide receiver to the right, along with Ken Brown in the slot to the right. And Sorley wants to throw. And he throws. Garlic intercepted it. Go, Chris. Chris Garlic down at the 31. And what a super play. But again, by Chris Garlic. We don't have a replay of it, but I can tell you one thing. He was trying to hit his big tight end. Chris, uh, whatever his name is, trying to hit his big tight end. And Garlic stepped Junior, in front of it. Junior Miller. Junior Miller. Well, Chris, Chris intercepted it. That's who it was. I knew it was Chris somebody. You got Chris there, don't you? Yeah, I tell you what. Now this is oh, what a play. This is vitally important because the momentum has been swinging the last two drives toward Missouri. They have it now. Downer and Lewis line up on the right side. Gant and Wilder behind Bradley. Winslow is lined up tight left. They have got to get back in the end zone. Bradley to throw on first down. Fires it out short and far away from Leo Lewis. I really don't. That just had to be, to me, it was just a broken up, broken play. I don't really think there was any. Well, Lewis looked at Bradley and kind of shrugged his shoulders, and Bradley looked at Lewis and kind of shrugged his shoulders. So it was either a bad pass route or a bad pass. Second down to 10. Looked like it might have been a bad pass route. I don't like that passing all the way across the field either. No, that is tough. Ken Blair wide to the right. He's got single coverage out there. Bradley on the option. Keeps, cuts it up. Phil Bradley at the 20. Phil Bradley at the 10, 5. And Bradley to the three yard line. All right, Phil. Oh, brother. 27 yards by the quarterback, the sophomore quarterback from Macomb, Illinois. Watch it again. Finally chased down by George Andrews, number 96 for Nebraska. But watch this play by Phil Bradley. He's chased all the way out here. Now he's chased down from the back. They're trying to catch him. Now he tucks the ball away. Breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles, down to about the three-yard, four-yard line. What a play by Phil Bradley. First and goal at the three-yard line. Lewis is wide to the left. Winslow and Anderson, double tight end situation. Bradley gives to Wilder, touchdown! touchdown! What can you say, Steve? <laughs> Jimmy Wilder. Watch it. Take another look at it. Ran in behind Mark Jones Gunder. Look at there. Oh, tuck the head and go. And Missouri, for the first time in this game, takes a 27-24 lead. Five minutes, 58 seconds left in the third period. And Jeff Brockhouse will try and make it a 28-24 game. And we're not going to be denied. Let me tell you. Jeffrey is down. The snap. The kick is good. 28-24 Missouri. Well, I'm telling you what. That was a very nice offensive drive when they had to score they scored and then garlic got the interception and when they could take a lead they took the lead and now Missouri for the first time in the game is out in front and suddenly people are thinking upset many Missouri are going crazy along with all the black and gold sit down here in front of us Missouri flags are being run all around the end zone we got to see a red, but everywhere, every once in a while, you can see a black and gold hat or a black and gold banner or something waving. And the Mini Mizzou is here. They listened to us, Steve. They weren't going to have another game like OSU where there wasn't a person there. It means so much to a football team to have their cheerleaders and their band and their 
Their fans screaming for them. They have got to hear somebody out there rooting for them. We didn't hear any of that at Oklahoma State. There are a few, some few loyal fans down there, but you know, you need that school spirit. You need that band. You need those pretty girls on the sideline in the short skirts yelling, yay team, you know. Well, you need that. <laughs> they don't need that, but you do. <laughs> there, there's a good picture of it. And, you can and let me tell you what, they're a dedicated group. Right here, over in the far corner, you can get a little shot of the tuba horns. That's a mini Mizzou down there freezing like the rest of us. Boy, they make a lot of noise, too, don't they? They're going to walk around for the next week with them mouthpieces stamped to their lips. Oh, my nose says it's way down below zero. I'll so tell my, you that. That's so what my toes are saying. Lockett is going to receive it at the five. They're setting it up on the far side. Watch it. Pass is over. All oh, right. What a good play. Oh, Chip Powell, you little devil. Harry Powell, I tell you what, be proud of Chip because he just broke that play up. They did a job on that one. You can see you can see Nebraska setting up the fence all along the far side of the field. All right, right there, the pass. All right, Chip. Way to read it, Harry, I'm telling you. He did a whale of a job. Why don't you say what you mean, Bob? Oh, hey. We're we're far, I'm as happy as <laughs> I'm as fired up as the rest of this group. I gotta, I gotta stay warm. First down for Nebraska at the 10. Pitch back to Rick Burns and they trip him up no at way. the 13-yard line. Rick Burns got two, so it'll be second down and eight. Guess who made the stop, Steve? Steve Hamilton. No, Chris Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Garlic playing like a man possessed today. I and said now, that once before, but he is. He's all over the field. Lockett goes out of the game. Tim Smith is in on second down and eight. We've got five and a half minutes left in the third period. Sorley sends Smith way out to the left side. Now they put Ken Brown in motion, the wing back. Pitch it out. They're going to reverse it. Fake reverse. Rick Burns. It was not going to be a fake reverse, though, because Brown went in motion from left to right. Stopped, turned around, and Burns was going to hand him the football, but Ken Brown slipped down. Sorley's going to have to put it up. Spins, fires, complete, and hit, and it's going to be close to a first down. I don't know if they'll have it or not. I think they marked it. I think they gave him first down. Junior Miller, nice pass play. You're, look, you're watching two of the greatest tight ends in the Big 8 play today. First Ooh. down. You're watching two of the greatest tight ends in the country this year. Or the Horn Cuskers, whichever. <laughs> Pitch it back, Rick Burns. Rick Burns has a block, and Rick Burns gets to the 31 yard line, a gain of nine. So it'll be second and one. And it was Eric Wright that finally got him. Garlic and Wright over there keeping it from going. I want you to watch the blocking all along the right side right there. They just they bring everybody down. Great blocking by the other up back. I don't know if that was hip in there with him or not. Andrew Franklin. Great blocking there. Wiped out our defensive end. Let him get outside. You can see the measurement. That's how close it is. It's not even a full yard, just a few inches. Let me give you a question now. You've asked me questions all year. You got second down and inches to go. You send somebody on a fly pattern and try and hit them? Not in the position Nebraska's in right now. They've got the wind in their face, and they need to establish a drive, I would think. Okay. Receiver out. Everybody else is in very, very tight. And they do run it up the gut with Burns. First down and more to the 43. Nice call. They ran it right up the shot for 11 yard good. <laughs> <laughs> right up the shot for right 11 up the yard shot for good. 11 yard good. Well, Bars. you have well over 200 before the day's over. I am hip is just taking a break on the sideline. Sorley keeps and is hit by three Missouri Tigers at midfield, a gain of eight. So it will be second down and two. Eric Berg in there. Number 36, Amrala, Chris Garlic, Sorley is hurt. Tom Sorley, the quarterback, yes, he is. He's down, and he is in pain. He was hit by three men. Now, if Sorley has to go out of the game, we anticipate that we will see Tim Hager, number 10, come in, yes, which is good news. He's a fine athlete. So Hager's the quarterback, and he gives it to Burns, and Burns is nailed at the 49. Right on that spot, nailed by number 92. That, my man, Benny Smith from East St. Louis, one of the people, uh, uh, Benny's mother was one of the people that organized the 40 people from East St. Louis come to this game. Today. And now Lockett comes in, Smith goes out. Lockett's got to play for Hager. Timmy Hager, 6'1", 178-pound junior from Lincoln. 
is now the quarterback for the Cornhuskers. On third and a yard. Pitch back to Rick Burns. Burns turns the corner. He has the first down. Johnny Poe forced him out of bounds, but not until he gets the first down. He got three yards on it. Burns, just a fine runner. He's got that outside speed. He's got the ability to get outside with his blockers and pick up the necessary yard. He's right there. Look at him turn the corner. Nice hit by Johnny Poe, but not until he got the first down. Burns has 182 yards today, rushing. I mean, that's a whole bunch. Billy Whitaker, by the way, has replaced Russ Calabrese on this drive. Russ is still out, walking around. Hager wants to pass. He's got a man open. It's tight end Miller. And that is a touchdown, but there is a flag down. There is a flag down at the 47-yard line. Let's see what it is. Miller was got wide man open. Man in motion, Steve. I think so. Man in motion. Check it against Nebraska. All right. Nullifies the touchdown. I guess we a little, little action on the sideline. Well, we didn't get the man in motion. There's a long and, and uh, Junior Miller was wide open down the, down the Nobody touched him. He was there wasn't anybody within three miles of him. Looks like he, there was definitely a broken Tom, coverage. Can, on you, it. can you run that back to us again? I want to see what the coverage was in the secondary. Yeah. Brown goes in motion. The pitch back to Burns. Brown gives him a block. And Burns played off the block. And Chris Garlic came in and stopped him. Again, that whole right side, some excellent blocking by the right side of Nebraska's line because Byrne got around that corner. He got nine yards on a pickup. He got around that corner and had all kinds of room to run. They're doing some excellent blocking. All right, here's that, that pass in the secondary again. Let's see if we can see the coverage. I don't think we're going to get a chance to. I think what happened to Junior Miller just yeah, he snuck, sneak, snuck, sneak through the line. Nobody even yeah. saw him. He was wide open. Back to live action. Rick Burns and Burns down to the 30 yard line. Another first down for Missouri. Wendell Ray stopped him. Not until after he got about nine yards. And Nebraska is moving the football like we saw him move in the first half. And they're doing it with Rick Burns and that offensive line blocking. Hager on a little reverse that's to that the wing back Brown. That's that flank reverse again, Steve. And he got nowhere. He was nailed. His best forward progress was at the line of scrimmage. Easy, coach. Sit down over there. Easy. Down, big fella. A minute, 38 seconds remaining in the third quarter of the game. Ken Bungarda checking back in now. And that'll move Ron Suda. Well, Ron Suda's going to stay in the we're game. Gonna, we're gonna and Hamilton is going to come out. So we've got both Bungarda, who is now... And let's check, he is going to the left side. He is at the left tackle spot. And Suda is at the right tackle spot. They're putting a little weight over on that far side. Exactly. And they've got Peterson and, and Ray on the outsides at the end positions. Going to pass. Hager. They need pressure on Hager. Complete the burns. A flag is down. And I'll bet you a dime to a dollar we're going to get a roughing the passer Late on hit. Larry Lauderdale. Late hit, I think. That's it. Larry Lauderdale, whether it be frustration or whatever, went in and leveled Hager. And he did it too late. The one thing that offensive line is doing, Bob, aside from the fact that, do, that they're doing a great job on run blocking, they're doing a great job on pass blocking. They're not getting any defensive pressure at all from Missouri. Katerra has come in at fullback. He's blocking for Burns. A flag is down as Burns gets inside the five. A flag was dropped what looks to be behind the line of scrimmage on both of the outside. So it could be, I would say, against Nebraska, but Nebraska saying it's against Missouri. Offside. Yes, it is. Offside, Missouri. We're letting little mistakes hurt us now. Penalties are starting to hurt us bad. Norm Goodman checks back into the game, and Eric Wright goes out. So they are trying to get some meat up on the line of scrimmage and in the linebacking situation. Uh, we we got we to gotta get ourselves together because we can't let these penalties. Right now, they've gotten 20, 25 yards just on penalties in this, in this drive. <clears throat> Second down and a yard to go. The ball is spotted just inside the five at the four. Hager rushes himself and scores. Tim Hager. Not too bad for us. Not too bad a play for us. Your backup quarterback comes in and does that. Does the job he did right there. 
seeing the oranges thrown on the field, symbolic of the Nebraska going to the Orange Bowl. Look at you, watch Hager right there for about a five or six yard touchdown. Hager's only rushed the ball coming into the game 16 times. He had not scored a touchdown. So he, they, he obviously, the scouting on the guy was you don't expect him to do anything, and he did. Well, if we can block this extra point, it'll put us a field goal away. The kick is good, and it is a 30 to 31 to 28 game. We've gone past Nebraska holding us to 15. It comes to Lewis at the 11. Leo across the 25 to the 26. So Missouri's got 48 seconds left with the wind at their backs on offense. 48 seconds. And then they're going to be facing the wind. And it's almost a position where you would think, Bob, that they would like to try and get the lead back before they change. Ball at the 26 on the first. Give us the can. Outside and can't quite break the tackle he wanted to break. He got two yards, so it'll be second down and eight. Nice play that time by number 38, Coons, for Nebraska. There was some beautiful blocks thrown inside. Lechner, or I should say Mark Jones, came around and threw a nice block, but Gant felt he could get outside on that play. Downer comes wide to the right side. As they pitch it back to Jim Wilder. Wilder breaks a tackle. Boy, he is a hard man to bring down. And he got seven more. So it will be third down and about a yard to go for the first down. In Lincoln, Nebraska. Bradley hands it off to Wilder, breaks a tackle. Jim Wilder at the 48-yard line, first down, Missouri. You don't think Jeff Hansen was holding on for dear life? 13-yard pickup, that first down gives us a first down all the way down to about the 49-yard, well, 48-yard line. But Hansen was holding on for dear life. He's just praying for three or four other Nebraska players to come in and grab Wilder before he broke loose. And that will be the last play of the third quarter. 31 to 10. Bradley throws to Winslow, complete. Go, go Winslow at the 20. And Winslow at the 11-yard line. A flag is down. But a flag went down after the play was whistled dead. I would have to think it's against Nebraska. Let's check well, it we're out. We're going to find out. I don't like the way some of the Missouri players gathered around the official. It is a clip. Missouri clip. The play will be called back. It went for 42 yards, and it was just a quick look in by Phil Bradley to his tight end, Kellen Winslow. But somebody tossed a block down around the knees behind him. I'm asking, our, asking my coach here. Let's see it again. See if we can pick it up. It's a beautiful play. Just a quick hit to Kellen Winslow. Now let's see what happens right there. Up yeah. in the upper corner, you saw the clip by Lewis. Leo Lewis. Close. Good. We still got a first and 10, but we're not near as close as we were. Nope, the ball went down to the 11-yard line, and now it's back out to the 37 as they send Lewis and Bo Holloway to the left side. Bradley wants to throw again into the wind under pressure. Bradley, oh, he's nailed. He gets it away complete to Lewis. Lewis at the 10 and out of bounds at the 4. And Phil Bradley is up and he is all right. You believe that play? Folks? I don't believe that Do play. You believe that play? Leo Lewis was down there all by himself. 33 yard pickup. Leo Lewis was all down, was downfield all by himself because I'm sure they thought Bradley was going to get sacked. Well, Bradley picked him out and tossed it. Now watch this. You're going to see Bradley do some fancy footwork here because he's almost almost brought down. He got decked as he threw the ball, and he got it to Lewis. What a play. What a play by Lewis. What a move by Lewis. Takes him all the way down to the four-yard line. What a play. The two fullbacks, Gary Ellis and Jim Wilder, are behind Bradley. Bradley wants to throw. Looking for Lewis. Over his head incomplete. Lewis was trying to shake Tim Fisher, the defender, who, by the way, is the nephew of Pat Fisher, who played, of course, with the St. Louis Football Cardinals and then later with the Washington Redskins. Great little defensive back. Probably one of the greatest defensive backs per pound that ever played the game of the in the National Football League. Boy, he was a vicious tackler. 
What a ball player. Lewis comes out of the game. Ken Blair, 82, has checked in. Let's give it to our horses. Let's give it to the guys who have been so good to us all year. Two tight ends are in the game, so expect a possible run. Fumble at the line of scrimmage. Bradley's got it back, but Bradley fumbled the snap from Pete Allard. So that brings up third down. Third down and four. Ellis and Wilder. And a timeout is being called by Nebraska. Wilder and Gant in the backfield. Long count by Bradley. Straight up the gut, fumble, Earl Gant fumble the football, and Nebraska, I think, has got it. Stand Let's see by. what happens. We're not gonna say anything until we see the official's hands. Stand by, Nebraska says they have it. And they got it. They're still trying They're to still fighting for it. They still haven't determined who's got it. Now, yes. there we go. You asked me earlier whether the cold would have any effect on anybody. I think right there was a perfect example. Well, it was a bad exchange between Bradley and Gant, and nobody ever had any control of the football. Watch it once again. We're going we're gonna, to gonna take a gander, another gander at it. He got stuck very right? well. He never even had the ball. The ball hit the ground before the, the linebacker even hit him. It's a very, very decisive defensive series for Missouri. They give it straight up to Franklin, the big fullback, and he stopped at the 21, a gain of two. So it'll be second down and eight. Steve Hamilton, Garlic Berg making the play. This is defense time. That's where we got to keep him here. We could have had him down around the three yard line. Who is that down on the field for Missouri? That Benny looks like Smith. Benny Smith. Ben eight, ball spotted at the 22 yard line. Ken Brown in motion, pitch back to Rick Burns. Burns cuts the corner, gets good yardage out to the 30, but there is a flag down. Could be, I don't know, let's wait and see. Yeah, let's just Doc hang on. Doc Conant, it's against us again. I don't know what, well, face mask. The indication was, I think, against Bungarda. I'll check that. Face the mask. Official pointed at Ken Bungarda. Penalties are hurting us. Penalties are killing us, watch this. Let's we'll see what happens right here. Uh, I don't know who they called it on. I just don't see a face mask against Rick Burns. Chris Garlic wants to know who's it on. He'd like to know who, the, who it is. I don't think the official can tell him. I hope these officials don't let this game get out of hand with all these flags. Well, it's first down for Nebraska. We've got 13 and a half minutes left, and Nebraska leads it by three. Missouri's got to stop him, got to get the ball back, and must score a touchdown. Inside, handoff to Franklin. And we'll make one other note. Tom Sorley is back in the game at quarterback. Been a record of some sort. Well, he set a record in the first half with the yardage he had then. There we go. Sorley under heat, and Sorley is going to be wrapped up and right. goes down. All right. It's a way to stay with him. Wendell Ray, Steve Hamilton both were there, and Sorley wouldn't go down. Finally, Hamilton grabbed him and threw him down. So, on third down and 15, or fourth down now, nice now watch play. this one again. This brings up to a fourth down. Now, watch this. You're going to see Sorley drop back. Nice pressure right here. Wendell Ray from the left, Hamilton from the right. Finally, Hamilton drags him down. Seven yard loss on the play. Bill Whitaker is back deep. Billy Todd, check it, Tim Smith will punt it away. This is only his second punt of the day. He gets a high one into the wind. Whitaker lets it bounce and will have to let it go now. And Nebraska will kill it inside the 20 yard line at the 19. Boy, that took an odd bounce. I thought it hit somebody's foot. I did too. I really did. I guess it didn't. Yeah, they did. It did. The did referee's it. bringing it back up. Okay. 41-yard yeah. punt. Well, somebody's away. Now we'll back up and let's see. 41. That makes it 37. 36-yard punt. And we've got 11 and a half minutes left. And now Missouri is at that position. They did their job defensively, offensively. They have got to totally eliminate 100%. Eliminate mistakes and move that football down the field. Let's just eliminate those silly penalties. That, those are the mistakes. 76 yards, they have got to go. A field goal only ties this game. They need a victory. Got a lot of time left. We've got 11 and a half minutes to go. Lewis and Downer are left, and they're going to start with Wilder off the right side at the 35. 36, first down, Missouri. 
Running behind Winslow, Richards, Lechner, Allard, Jones, and Gunder that time. Tim Fisher finally brought him down. Comes left. Bo Holloway goes to the right. Bradley spins. Under heat on the option. Keeps it and goes down at the 40. Give him five yards. So it'll be second and five. And that was an excellent effort by Bradley to, to get yardage out of something that was almost Bruce, dead. Bruce Dunning had him, but he finally, Bruce Dunning brought him down, but not until Bradley picked up, like you say, four or five. Watch this. Nice move right there. Bradley could have been had for about a two-yard loss. The city turns it into a four-yard game. Yeah, Downer and Lewis both wide to the left. Lewis is in the slot. Bradley is going to throw. He's under pressure. Fires back across the grain. Incomplete intended for Winslow. And Bradley was decked again. Bradley ticks. He's going to fire. We need a short one. Across the middle to Winslow. Oh. Behind him. Incomplete. And that was all Phil Bradley as he threw behind Kellen Winslow. Kellen slipped right there. He couldn't stop and come back for it because the field was wet. His feet went off from under him. It was a little bit behind him. It was kind of a bad pass. So Jeff Brockhouse has got to come in to punt his third punt of the day. It will go into the wind. So we anticipate that Nebraska will be having good field position when this play is over with. Unless they can fumble the ball. Jeff Loeb, what a nice kick. Boy, he kept that down. Drives Brown back. Brown has no place to go. Now nice. cuts it up, and he goes down at the 18. Nobody saw the clip, I'm going to tell you. No one saw the clip. The guy catches it right and square in the back. In fact, it could be the guy that's down, but I swear, no one saw the clip. You're making obvious reference to the official no, inability no, to making... drop a flag, right? Well, you can't throw a flag, and I can't throw a flag. <laughs> But no one saw the clip. 128, first and 10 for Nebraska. The ball spotted at the 18, 19 yard line. Sorley gives it off to Burns, and Burns is stacked up at the 21, a gain of two. So it'll be second down and eight now. Garlic making the play for Missouri. That was a rather lengthy delay. That that could enable a lot of bodies to get kind of chilly out there, couldn't it? It could. A lot of a lot of bodies, a lot of cramps. Could. Oh, thank you for the coffee. Al Kanoff brought us some coffee. Brought us some coffee, and off I'm going to reach my mouth without spilling all over my body. Ooh. Second down and eight now. Let's see what Nebraska does offensively. Sorley goes back to his big running back again, Rick Burns, and Rick Burns has got the first down. His yardage today is unbelievable. Billy Whitaker making the play. I tell you, they got some great blocking. They run that play better than anybody I've seen in a long time. It's Really? Big. No. First and ten for Nebraska. Time to stop him. Pitch it back to Burns, and that's all they're going to do is Burns turns the corner, and Bill Whitaker's got to run him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Same play again. Basically the same play again. They're just running him outside, getting him around the corner. Some great blocking. There must be some great blocking, because I can't believe they'd run the same play as many times as they have, and we haven't been able to defense it. It is the exact same play. They run it left, they run it right, and it's a matter of a guard pulls and helps out with the blocking on that side, and they are clearing the defense out. On second down and three as the clock rolls, 9-10 remaining in the game. Sorley gives to Franklin his first man through his fullback, and even Franklin runs the ball for five yards. Hope he cool. feels good on the hands. I'd like to have some around my toes. Oh, I'm thinking how silly it would be to pour it down my back. This is a first down now. First and ten for Nebraska. Rick Burns again. Pitch out. Cuts Burns back. cuts it back at the 50-yard line, so he got seven more. So it's second down and three, and Rick Burns continues to run up heavyweight yardage today. He now has 246 yards. Best. I guess so. And now Hip's going to run the football, and he runs it up the gut for good yardage. Five more. First down, Nebraska. 23 yards rushing, but Burns has done such, such an exceptional job. Hip hasn't been able to get in the game. On first down, option. Nobody knows where the ball no, is. sir, that is the wingback, Ken Brown, and Brown has got what appears to be another Nebraska first down. 11. Oh, replaces. And if they want to throw, they might throw it at Chipper, but they're going to keep it on the ground with Hip, and Hip gets down to the 30, a gain of four more. So it's second down and six, and Nebraska is at this moment unstoppable on offense in the running attack. Yeah. Full back as Brown goes in motion. Pitch, Pitch back. Up. I am hip. And hip is taken down from behind Ken by Ken Bungarda. All right, Ken. That's the way to play it. You see how they had everybody, they had everybody strung out that time. He had nowhere to go. 
You got them for a two-yard loss. I want you to watch everybody right there. Now they're all fighting to get outside. Bungarda shook off, play. shook off the block by Katera. Played off the block and got in the backfield. Now it's fourth and five, and they are going to go for it. They're going to go for it. They got confidence in what they've been doing. They've done it so well on this drive. Why not? Burns is back in the game. Franklin's back in the game. Pass play. Pass. Out. Complete to tight end Miller, and that will be short of a first down. Didn't make it. Did not make it. Well, this is it, my friends. First down, Missouri. Coach Rowe. Watch it again. They have got 74 yards in front of them, and they are trailing by three points. A field goal will not do much for them except tie it. They give to Wilder, and Jim Wilder gets two yards, so it's second down and eight. Kerry Winemaster, the nose guard, making the play. Missouri's got plenty of time showing on the clock. They've also got two timeouts left in this half. Let's just hammer the ball down the field, pick up three or four, give it to our horses, Ellis and Wilder, let them pick up three or four at a time, hit Callen down across the middle, and score. Bradley's got Lewis wide to the right side. Holloway is lined up left as they give to Gary Ellis. Covered up, Gary bangs away at the 35 and 40. First, First down, down, Missouri. Well, I'll tell you what, we got, well, we got one Nebraska player down. That's what happens every time you try and Every time you try and tackle Ellis or Wilder, somebody might get wounded. 13-yard pickoff. Here we go. Look, there's one tackle break. Two, three, four, five. That was Kerry Winemaster who is taken off the field. So now at the nose guard position, we will probably see Ajuus Lee. Number 63, Ajuus Lee. Odious, I'm sorry. Odious Lee. Doesn't mean anything about Odious, odious. Missouri first down on our own 38, 39 and a half yard line. Bill Bradley option pitches out. Downer comes back and throws a block. Fumble. And it's out of bounds. It is Missouri's ball. We got a few yards. We got five yards in that play. That's a pretty good play, coach. That's right. Alder's got 156 yards rushing. It's second down and four. Mizzou sends two wide receivers to the right side. They give it straight into Wilder. Wilder at the 50, still on his feet. And Jim Wilder taken down at the 47-yard line. First down. Oh, they're moving the football. They have got, if Missouri can score a touchdown, Missouri will win this football game because I don't think Nebraska will have enough time to come back. Watch this. Watch, watch uh, Wilder. We said it once. We said it a thousand times. The guy is just tremendous. He's one of the greatest backs in the Big Eight. Oh, he was overlooked for second team or honorable mention. I'll never know. 163 na yards now for Jim Wilder. And he's only a sophomore. Bradley's going to pass. He's got Winslow across the middle. Complete at the 20. 15, 14, first down. All right, Kellen. There we go again. The famous pass. Bill Bradley to Kellen Winslow. Take another look at it. Great play. We just sent Kellen down. Split the seam. Guy six right there behind the linebackers in front of the defensive backs. A guy that high, you've got to give him some room. Andy Means finally brought him down, but not before we got to the 15-yard marker. How many yards we get on that? 34. 34 yards on that pickup. Lewis and Holloway to the left side. Phil Bradley, Jim Wilder, covered up Jim at the 10. Wilder fights his way down to the 6-yard line. Oh, I can't stand it. What a football game we've got today. Eight yards. Four minutes and nine seconds left in it. Watch it, Bob, and Gonna watch it one go more ahead time. and call it. we just let you look. Jim Wilder follows his blockers right there. Follows Earl Gant, goes through. Let me tell you, I'm telling you right now, Jim Wilder, listen to me. I'm going to buy you the biggest steak dinner you could eat. <laughs> Lewis comes out to the left side. I think he's a vegetarian, isn't he? Huh? <laughs> Wilder! Wilder! Jim no! Wilder! No! 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 Did you see that? Did you see him? Did you see him take that man and throw him down? You will not believe what Wilder did. He had a guy wrapped around his waist. He just grabbed hold of him and threw him into the ground like he was a piece of turf. Unbelievable. Whoa. Watch this what? and watch Wilder closely. Tell you folks, watch 32. Watch Bradley hand it off to 30. Now watch this. Get out of my way. Oh. I don't know who he did it to, but he did a number on somebody. 
Jim Wilder, by the way, has scored four touchdowns today. That ties Gantz that record ties that was Gantz. set last week. Brockhouse, the kick, a flag is down, the kick is good. The Incredible Hulk. How's that for a name for Jim Wilder? The Incredible Hulk. The Incredible I love it. Hulk. I love it. The penalty against Nebraska refused. And Missouri, 34. <laughs> the Huskers, 31. Now it's 35. We'll be right back. It's the touchdown. Jim Wilder's fourth. As we show it to you again. Just 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 pay attention to 32, folks. Watch here. He takes Boom. he takes number 40, and I'm gonna Burke Dunning makes him part of the AstroTurf. Brockhouse kicks scores. off. It's to Lockett. Fumble Boom. by Lockett, and he'll kill it right there. Oh, if only he could have kicked it out about five yards. 342 left. Missouri's defense hopefully prepared for the task ahead of them. Sorely to throw, it's under oh, pressure. Oh, Wendell. Wendell Ray, number 90. Wendell Ray was there. Came all the way around. He made Kevin Clark eat a bunch of crow that time, throwing for an eight-yard loss. Kevin Clark, your 6'4", 275. Mr. Wonderful, and Wendell Ray did a job on him, let me tell you. Just some nice speed. Second down and 18. Oh, let's hold him down here and make him kick, fellas. Sorely has got to throw the football. There's no way around it. Just make him kick. Hold him down here. They give to Burns. Burns with a block, but he is nailed at the 18. He doesn't quite get back to the original line of scrimmage. Five-yard gain, so it'll be third down and 11 yards. Wendell a, Ray again making one of the plays. A and big, Garden Ray. Big third down play. Big third. Pulls this out on top. Sorley to throw. Third down. You know it's going to Sorley deep. Sorley for Lockett. No, no, it is no. complete. I want to see it again. Lockett, they called inbound. One foot. That's all they need is one foot. One foot inbound. Sorley's a long pass here. I thought he wasn't going to catch it, but he finally caught it. Oh, yeah. He had a foot inbound. 31 yards on the reception. Nice play. From Sorley to Lockett. First down, Nebraska. Two and a half minutes remaining. They still... They They've got 50 yards in front of them. And now they send Tim Smith to the right side along with their wing back. Ken Brown. Safety blitz. Fake into the line, across the middle. Incomplete. Nice play. Intended nice. for Brown. Eric Wright was going for the ball right there, folks. Nice play by Eric Wright. Of course, it takes away one defensive man when you do that. Here we but I still again. think it'll work. Here we Another blitz. Screen A screen pass. to Burns. Rick Burns slips down at the 38-yard line, but that will be a Nebraska first down. Now look. Looked awful close to Lyman downfield. Hit by Missouri. It is first down for Nebraska. Fake into the line. Now it's a delayed draw, and they don't get anywhere. Franklin gets it down to the 34, so they did get five yards, and it'll be second and five as the clock shows exactly two minutes left in this game. Nebraska Time calling out. a timeout. How about an interception? Fumble or interception? Pitch it back to Burns. Burns, Burns is hit, and Burns gets about three yards. We so it will be third down and two, Bob. We closed that one down a little bit better. We've been playing that one. Now, come on, get up off the field. Somebody's down here, a little slower. Come on, Wendell. Who is that? Wendell, Wendell Ray. Ray. Okay. Third down and three. Here they go, a minute 37 left. And now Missouri calls the timeout. Nebraska. Rick Burns and Franklin in the backfield. Long count. Burns is hit. Yes. Is hit. And they did not make it. Who hit him first? Chris Garlic hit him first. Chris Garlic hit him first in the backfield. Then the rest of the guys came in. Larry Lauderdale was there. Steve Hamilton. We're going to take another look at it. I want you to watch. Chris Garlic takes him, meets him right in the back. Look at here. What a great play by Chris Garlic. It's fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down and four. They've got to do it this. If they do it, Defensively here, the game will be over. They're going to pass. Deep, incomplete. Missouri takes over. No flags. There are no flags on the field. Missouri takes over. Missouri. A minute, three seconds left. Nebraska has one timeout remaining in the game. They cannot stop the clock. Missouri can run four plays, and this football game will be over. Well, I tell you what, we got our guys in there now. All we got to do 
We got, like you say, a minute and three seconds. They got one timeout, and I would assume they're going to use it soon. Well, they'll use it as, you're right. As soon as the play is over, they'll call their last timeout, and that will allow about 50 seconds, maybe 55 seconds left in the game. And then all Missouri's got to do are, uh, is run their final three plays, and uh, the game will be over. In fact, they could probably do it in two. I Bradley down. That's one, and Nebraska right there will call a timeout. I'm smelling an odor. Although they haven't yet. Nebraska has not called a timeout yet. Now they do. I'm smelling peaches. Proud of them. <laughs> Missouri puts out two wide receivers, but Bradley falls again. Okay. Nebraska cannot call another timeout. Please. This football game has got one more play left in it, and Basically that is it. Over. Basically mean, over. Stay on the clock, and you can see 35 seconds left. One more play, and they've got it third down, so Missouri actually has two more plays available to them. Steve? Is the pit game today or not? I can't really tell you for sure. It's not today? Okay. There's the last play for you. The clock is counting down. And Missouri has upset the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Final score. Missouri 35. Nebraska 31. We shall return with a final recap right after this message. So please, don't go away. An upset over Notre Dame and then... We come up with this thing, and we've got an upset over Nebraska. What a season. It's been, it's been a fantastic season for Coach Powers and the Missouri football team. I was reading in the, this week's Big 8 press release something about Missouri known as the upset team That's right. of the, of the uh, century. Every, every year they come along and they upset somebody. And uh, today was no different. Uh, they come out here, they, they, everyone thought, that, I'm sure the Cornhusker fans thought they'd be waxed on it when the 80-yard run first place yeah. in the line of scrimmage. Yeah. But they did not give up. It's a character, the guys that are on that club, it's a character that, that Warren Powers has instilled in them never to quit, never to give up, and they didn't. And by golly, they came back and, and just like I said at the beginning <laughs> of the game, they were going to do it, and they did it. Jim Wilder had a super day, as did Rick Burns, but the way they ran the offense, the way the defense played, when the defense had to play that way is what is important. Right, it was it was ups and downs. This was definitely, I think you could you could say, you know, realistically, this was definitely when the score is 35 to 31. It's an offensive day, but the defenses, both defenses, rose to certain occasions and, and played uh, well at times, played as spotty at times. Offense, the same thing, but when it counted, they scored, and when they had to score, this just like this last drive where they came down and scored, and they weren't to be denied. And like you said. Jimmy Wilder and his four touchdowns, uh, Ty Zero Gant for four yeah. uh, piece, and, and that's a, that's the kind of year it's been. It has been a it's been a fun season, and I'm glad we had the opportunity to work together. I've really enjoyed it. Maybe we'll have one more. Well, I hope so. I hope we go to the Peach Bowl, and, and before uh, Tom McGuire shuts me up here, I <laughs> I hope uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you, Steve Bassett, and uh, Tom McGuire. And Mr. Ralph Hansen, the general manager of KTVI TV back in St. Louis, for giving me the privilege of uh, doing the color commentating well, we've, for you guys this year. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope that I did a respectable job for you. You so. did a super job, and we had a lot of fun, by the way. I like that. Well, I tell you what, this has not helped. <laughs> I am so cold. It is not the camera jumping up and down. It is me. Again, 35 to 31 was the final score, and we'd like to also thank... Mark Friend, our pilot, and Thunderbird Aviation for making all of our travel arrangements and getting us to Lincoln, Nebraska. They have been super all season long, and we thank them very much. Again, 35-31, a major upset. Missouri beats Nebraska, and so...